<laughs> I've messed it up. I can't believe it. I worked so hard and I messed up the intro. I actually played the wrong one. Oh, dear my Lord. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? How are you? We've got 17 awesome people commenting already on the chat. That's fantastic. But yeah, I messed that up. I can't believe it. Hello to Quakers. Good to see you. Hello to Bonsai Master. Bonsai. Hello to Dave. Johnny Cribs. Hello, everybody. He was very nearly called David Cribs for a minute there. Right, press the space. No. Mouse. Okay, I don't know if it's in sync, I don't know. I don't know if it's in shot, I don't know. Hello to Lord Infinity, Bonsai. Hello to Retro Memoirs. Is it that time again? It is indeed. Can we hear any music? I don't think we can at the moment of time. I think that's normal. Daz Gamer, hello, buddy. Hello, I hear the music, and it could must be that time again. It is, it's gone very quickly. Spinners House Amiga, hello, everybody. Uh, Jasper is in the conservatory. Right, spacebar. Fire. Right, okay, I think we're good to go. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit behind now. Breakpoint UK Gaming, hello everybody. Even all liking the new intro, thank you, even though I messed it up. Can't believe it. Heath, mate, Heath has been quite poorly again. Mate, Heath, man cave hobbies, please, please do get well soon. Hello to Michael Jensen, hello to C9 Shunt. Great to see you, I'm glad you got to make it today. Fantastic, welcome, hope you're well. Sean P, hello Sean P, good to see you. Uh, Michael Carley, even all, hello, awesome, hello, how you doing? Two weeks, flies by, it does, Mr. Raw, hello everybody, how you doing? Breakpoint Gaming, good to see you. Crazy, it's July already, it's absolutely insane, isn't it? Pinch Punch, first of the month, all that sort of stuff. And Mark Blaster Gamer and Andrew DeBlyan, good to see you, hello Jamie and chat, good to see you, let's have some music. Right, let me know if it's too quiet, last stream it was too quiet, and also the fan was too loud so that was quite difficult to deal with when i watched it back so i've actually put the fan further back we're using one fan today not two i've increased the elgato sound effects so hopefully you won't hear the whole fan back noise i'm not using my tripod because there's too many, too many accidents by knocking my microphone over hopefully that won't happen again today it shouldn't do but anyway we're still using streamlabs uh i'm not using the ossc today uh but it's not as hot as last time but anyway, I hope you're well. Uh, Matt Boss, good to see you. And Max Levin, hey Jim and chat. Thunder coming in, so must sit in this one out. Crying of shame. No worries, Mr. Uh, Mr. Max. Good to see you though. Yes, yeah, we been very up and down here in the UK. We've had winds, rain, uh, thunder, lightning, everything we haven't had is snow and fog. Give it time. Quagers, good to see you, Quagers. Big by further a month. And yes, we used to say, um, uh, a slap and a kick for being so quick, what we used to say, yes. Uh, what has been in the conservatory, he's not riding a new bike. No, he's not riding a new bike. Whether he is, I can't see it anyway. But if he is, that's amazing talent. Hello to Zajag, good to see you my friend, how you doing? We'll be playing Flashback today. Uh, it's been requested quite a lot of times, but I thought why not just do it today. Skinwalker, haven't seen you for a while, how you been, how you doing? How's you and how's your dog? How you been? Planet X, hello to Dink, good to see you, and Gumdio, hello everybody, hello John, hope you're all well, how's your two weeks been, I've got drinks on the go, been a busy boy, I have been a busy boy, uh, however, work, I'm still working in the place, which I'm leaving, I've got nine more days remaining, it's going fast, however, my boss has been quite nice to me, it's too late now, so anyway, uh, we're playing uh, Mina Minas, uh, which I did as part of a unboxing, or pick up video, I can't get far, but I thought why not, it's a good game. I should have even waited till uh, Rusty James tuned in, because he likes that game as well. Uh, Agony, I'm going to give Agony another go, I've left the box in there. I'm going to try it and see and get that first time completion, I don't know. Dragon Fighter is a confusing game, but I do like it. Unfortunately, I don't have a box version, but I would like to get one in the future to hopefully make the game a little more easier to understand. But, I would like to do it again today. PP Hammer is a very expensive box. Unfortunately, this is not the original box. This is actually a retro phase handmade edition. A much cheaper option, a much smaller version, but it's a fantastic game. And again, never completed it before. A lot of levels, but it's great to play. Saw a few more people there. I'll come back to that in a moment. Space Taxi, which I put onto a floppy disk. Amazingly, it's not on WHD loads. Amazingly. Uh, it's a great game, cannot go wrong with a bit of Space Taxi 3 in this case. Dodaris, Andrew Superman, I'm sure you can be pleased with that one. I'm getting further, it's a, it's a tough game, but I'm getting further, and uh, I want to give it another go today. But of course, flashbacks, so yeah, we've got seven games on the list, a lot to do today. But it's a bit, a bit of a mixed bag today. Um, but anyway, hope you're, well, hope you're well, Gumdio, and Quaker's good to see you as well. Mega Mang, who's also 
Dazman79, uh, it's actually his birthday today, so say happy birthday to Mega Man, also known as Dazman79. How old are you today? I've asked you today, I don't think you answered my question. How old or how young are you, we should say? How young are you today? But happy birthday, and thank you for tuning in, and Skinwalker, it's great to see you, my good friends. The dog's turned 11, that's fantastic. Happy birthday to Skinwalker Dog. Uh, people have a box, I bought an eBay. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have enough money to buy the real deal. You're going to have to have a lot of money to buy that one. But I am getting there slowly. Right, so again, I'm using screen one, screen two, screen three. We're going to use... We're going to go for the default settings here. Right, we're going to use a, another question to set this other way. We're going to continue with the letters one. Dungeons you Blind is be an absolute doddle for you. What are your top three me games? Beginning with a T. I did this at the very last minute. Again, it was a last minute thing. And Steven Scapegoat, I've got a notification just before I hit the stream button. Thank you for subscribing. Really do appreciate that. And it's nice to, uh, to chat to you on Twitch. Thank you for joining me on YouTube. This is where I do most of my content, but I am slowly getting back to doing Twitch. But of course, YouTube is the main focusing point. Right, exit option, start game. This is basically based around a game show. It's a very quiet game. It is very quiet. There we go. Absolutely simple. It's the simplest question I've ever asked you, and it's the simplest question you've ever answered. But anyway, good to see you. How's your week's been? How are you doing? What are you doing this weekend, people? What's your plans? In this game, you can't have music and sound effects at the same time, but of course, you know what more this game is like. We're to make it possible. 21 again. Uh, Simon had a birthday this week. It's birthdays all around, isn't it? Furry, furry, furry buddies and human beings. That's fantastic. Good to see. My phone's going crazy. However, battery is lasting. Also, hopefully, we're not going to have any issues with the router. Me and the router are falling out at the moment, time. We're not getting on very well. Uh, I've been on the phone to Virgin Media quite a number of times. I do think my router is on its way out. So, I've reset it today. Hopefully, it's going to improve the latency. If you want to do some tests for the latency, that'd be fantastic. Hope to save Wolf. Good to see you. <laughs> uh, oh, you sent Mr. Scapegoat here. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. It's really kind of you. Ready to watch your streams after a long time, mate. It's good to see you. Uh, great game, PP Hammer. I love it. Awesome playlist today. Well, it's also good, of course, if Mr. Four can stay awake, of course. But of course, if you need to get some sleep, that's absolutely no problem, Mr. Raw. But I hope you are well, I hope your cat is well, and I hope your daughters are well. So, yeah, what are you doing this weekend? What's your plans? I have got a tea here. I've got a tea in my Morgadus Games Cup, which I would do some more. Uh, in the future, as long as t-shirts and possibly some mouse mats and stiff. Uh, the King is still one requesting some more just game socks. Uh, maybe in the future I might see if that's a possibility, but we'll see. But anyway, cups and mugs, it's technically the same thing. Mouse mats and t-shirt is definitely on the go. Um, and also got some orange juice here. But yeah, I haven't really drunk very much today, I have to admit. It's actually the green screen, but this, isn't it? Um, so yeah, this is basically a game show. Uh, what you're going to try and do is basically collect all of the, I'm assuming they're coins, they could be... We'll go with coins. Pick up all the coins while avoiding the additional enemies on the way. But your bullets are limited in this game. You also get passwords on the way and pickups on the way, of course. There's so many things you pick up in this game, including health, additional bullets, uh, passwords, bonus letters and credits, which, you know, speaks for itself. Like the bonus, you get a bonus. Like the credit, you get additional credit. You have three lives, but you can get more than that. Only shows three in a box. But yeah, I haven't got very far in this game. I didn't play this back in the other days, but I did sit multiple long times in the shops in the other days with CD32. But mainly, I didn't buy it on the CD32. But I don't think there's actually much difference between the Mega version and the CD32 versions. They do also get teleports, which of course speaks for itself. Uh, Test Drive is good. Uh, I have played that. Um, I used to have on the PlayStation 1, I had Test Drive 5. Which, surprisingly, I traded in. But again, said it many, many times in the past. So many of the old school games, especially on PlayStation 1, I did trade a lot of them in. A bit different than the old, old, old school games, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, that was the sort of time in my life I was going to college, earning, my, earning money at my first job. Thank you so much, Mitch. That's really kind of you. <laughs> Happy Smiley. Hope you are well. Theme Park is classic. Yeah, it cannot go wrong with Theme Park. Uh, I did a long play of that uh, quite some time ago, which I believe has done fairly well. But yes, not a full, full, full long play. I just did one country, which of course does take quite some time. But it's a good game. I do like it. It's really good. But again, thank you for the subscription. That's really appreciated. Hello to Davin. Her dad's good to see you. So yeah, what is your top three me games for beginning with the letter T? So we've got T2, Arcade, Tycoon Trilogy, and Toki. Toki's fantastic. 
Token 2, Token and TV Sports Football for Mr. Gumdio. Token 2, 1 and 3, in that order, yes? Lord Infinity. Um, hope you're well. Sable Wolf, good to see you. Token 2, 3 and 1 once again. Token 1, 2 and 3 for break points. Gonna be a lot of tokens here. You'll buy a mug. That's fantastic. And hello, John. Hello, Amiga Live. An amazing channel on Twitch. I spent quite a lot of my time there. Favourably mentioned, guys. That's really appreciated. Even the kitchen sink, too. Strive is good. Yeah, good to see you, John. Um, yeah, of course, you've probably played all of these, haven't you? But yes, I'm using original hardware, but of course, emulation, I totally understand why people do it. It's, it's very reliable. But I don't stream using emulation, but I use emulation if I'm using Amiga Live, of course. But streaming, no. I like to use original hardware. But yeah, I'm using my original 1200, which I got in 2017, I think it was. It was quite pricey. So anyway, at the bottom of the screen, we do have our map, uh, which helps you to find those coins, which is marvellous. We don't need this end, uh, time in this one. It's fantastic. Daz, hope you're well, and Mamma, let's go. Hope you're well too. So, in the arena, total, all bars corrected, gems used, keys used, symbols found, guardians destroyed. But yes, your bullets are limited in this game. Jamie, drink some tea, man. <laughs> Does the set this count as a tea section? The set oh the, the 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 mate of course you can of course it does you do whatever you want yes technically does start with a T um, however when it comes to CDs which of course now my CDs are in alphabetical order I didn't put the in T because there would be so many uh, Jamie you're now you've had the mini for a while are your thoughts on it now? mate I love it I think it's very good I love the control uh, the controller which is not my sort of thing to say that, because I'm not a fan of controllers, but that is actually very, very good. But I haven't used it overly much. I use my 1200 or my 500 with CD32 the most. But it's a nice thing to have on standby to give the other ones a little bit of a rest from time to time. But I have to admit, I've not used it much. But that video did very well. I was very happy with that. So, yeah. It was a video I definitely wanted to do. And I'm pleased I've done it. Um, let's get rid of that question. I was hoping to try and get these on a timer, but unfortunately... I can't do it on OBS. I'm hopefully going to try and see the questions will go on there for some amount of time and they go off on their own. Stephen Gatego has made it. Here he is on the chat. Good to see you. Um, the Mega Man. Jamie. Um, the T of the, the Hardcore. Yes. The Executioner, the Total Recall, Thundercats, and Theme Park for Sean. Willy is. I uh, can't think of a third. Yes, yeah, sometimes I sort of think that the, the final one is always the most difficult. For example, if I were to say to some of you, like, what are your top five? A lot of you probably say, yeah, that's simple, but then a few weeks later you'll probably change it. Or you'll probably pick four with ease, and the fifth one will be quite difficult to do. But yeah, some people I do know a lot, which is understandable. However, I don't think mine are going to change. Mine's people are going to stay the same for the remainder of its life, I think, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, it's difficult. It's an arrow. Totally cool. Mega music is good. Yeah, it's a good game, but I can't get far on it. I keep getting lost. And get shot by bow and arrow that time. Um, so at the bottom of the screen you have your bombs, which at the moment is a big fat zero, and we are having four bullets in our possession, now five, that will shoot in four directions. Only takes one hit to kill additional enemies, also pick up that, I don't know what it does though, but I did buy the manual with a box, and there's so many things to learn about this game, so many power-ups. That will freeze all enemies on the spot, which is fantastic, um, yeah. Favourite we hee <laughs> hello, um, Twin World for the T Games. Twin World, heard of that one. I've definitely heard of that one. Um, also need to open doors by picking up various keys and gems. But don't be shot by a bow and arrow, which of course once I've done already. Um, and I'm assuming enemies we spawn this game. I have to admit, yes I did watch the trailer. Yeah, I'm looking very I'm very much looking forward to that. But I wasn't overly sure on the remake of the first one. Uh, there was a few of them actually. One had additional um, enhancements of graphics and one was completely utterly different altogether. Uh, but I've not played that one, but I did play the one which had additional smoothing. Which I think I preferred to the proper remake. Because I don't like, I'm not a fan of change. Especially with a change of a game that I love very much. Which is a classic of course. But of course I did do a long play. Maybe I will do it in the future. Maybe I'll do it on a higher difficulty. Maybe go for normal. Do you spell out bone chance? No, you spell bonus. Bonus, you get additional bonus. Credit, you get additional credit. <laughs> Pretty much. 
Uh, I cannot remember how you earn the credit. I think you've got to max out the, the word bonus to get a letter of credit. I think that is correct, actually, now think about it. The humans, I have that in my mum's loft, but unfortunately the box has seen better days. But yeah, I've not played that for absolutely years. I probably would have forgotten how to play that game now. In fact, yes, I have no idea. It's that long ago. But also, yes, my box has been up badly crushed, unfortunately. Which is quite rare for me. I tend to look after my boxes. But that one has seen better days. <laughs> Bonus credit. Yes. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Something like that. Also, switch the walls. Uh, and you also use that to kill different enemies as well. Which will save you a few more bullets. Which is a good thing as well. Passwords. You find the disc. Write it down in your notepad if you have one. Tiny Little Slug, I have a box version of that. Jasper um, doesn't tend to show himself very much on streams as I have guests. Uh, which of course, Swedish House and Rusty James have done that and done it very, very well. Um, as you Ron, just crept in there. How are you? And Zajak, hope you're well too. Uh, did you hear Jamie about the Flash Out sequel? Yes. What do you think? It does look good. Troubles with these intros of new games, you don't see an awful lot of the gameplay, do you? However, I have not seen the intro for the new Monkey Island yet, but I've heard so much about it. Um, like keys, you all know what keys can do. Right, so where we'll go now? Um, they are big, big stages. They are big stages. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. So, that's a teleport, that's gold, that's a coin, but we have to find all of them, there's no one, there you go, missed one. Marvelous. Which is marvellous, which is Chris Barry of course, there's a terrible awful game beginning with T, Top Banana. I have played it only once. It's an interesting game isn't it? Uh, good music in this game, yes it is very good, not a lot of music though. Very limited in this game. Hello to Era42, good to see you. Hello Kelly2021, good to see you. Mad Max Go, hope you're well too. Looking forward to PP Hammer, part of the show. Great game, I love it. I don't know how many levels there are, about over 100 I think. Maybe a possible future series, I'm not sure. Uh, over 2,500 screens of treasure, potions. Oh, 70. I thought it was more than that. 70 levels in total, of course. Yes, it can be very longer towards the end, aren't they? Humans in the loft calls the police, yes. yes that one was from the older days. But yeah, it's very rare that those boxes from the older days got crushed. A few of them went astray, of course, I've mentioned many, many times in the past. But yes, it's very rare they got damaged. Uh, weird screen update after moving across tile. Weird screen update. My Kirby's Adventure box is pretty crushed. It's not good, is it? We'll do one more level, move on. Ready. Uh, haven't... Have you... I can't believe that... Considering you completed Fate of Atlantis multiple times. Yes, I've finished many, many times. Yeah, I've got all three additional endings. Uh, some of them are a lot more easier than others. But yes, I have done it. In the old, old days, that was. Not the now, now days. Even though I have done it in the now, now days. But the first time was in the, the old days on the PC. Which we got from the shop called Tiny. Which I mentioned many, many times in previous vlogs and streams. But yes... It was bundled in lots of games, and one of them was Fate Atlantis, which I hadn't heard of it before. Your trip, your t tooth is chipped. My lord. I had to have a filling um, early in the year. However, it's not solved the problem, it still hurts. But it's not as bad as what it was, but I think maybe next time I might have to get it extracted. But it's, it's at the back, so it's not a big, big deal. But yeah, not good, man. Even the Channel 27 is the reference to Red Dwarf. Yeah, it's, um, it's the episode of, I should know this, I've spoken about it many, many times, to Inbound Dreams. It's quarantine, isn't it? Yes. But yeah, I met uh, Chris Barry at an expo, which was in Milton Keynes. In fact, I met, I've met all of them, actually. I actually met Kat, uh, Crichton, and Rimmer at the same venue, and I met Dave Lister, at a anime convention, actually, so completely utterly different. But he was the only one there. Yes, indeed. Well, I've actually met Jen Dead and John Jaws twice. The only ones I haven't met is Holly and I can always I can never say this one. Coach Konchansky, Konchansky. Not met any of the Hollies. Right, Groovy Funky Channel Twenty Seven. Yeah, you cannot go wrong with um, with Red Dwarf, but I'm not only keen on the latest ones though. The old school ones are so much better. Big spanking deal, yes. 
Um, please do anyway. Rimmer. Yeah. A lot of people didn't say it. I sound like Rimmer. I'm not even sure if I do. But a few people have said that. Right, I believe Spacebar activates the bomb. I've never actually tried. Um, must be some redraw issues in the coding. Hope you're well, Era 42. Um, yeah, I've not played any Kirby games, uh, Stephen H. Goat. Not a single one. The only, well, the closest I got to that was uh, Super Smash Brothers, which I believe Kirby was in that. That was on the Wii. Um, which I have finished. Right. Let me burn to a crisp. There's another credit. There's a bullet. Um, that's a teleportation, which I missed. Um, right, so again, a lot of backtracking. So how far has people got in this game? Like I say, the other day I never played this one. Contestant ready. But again, love to see um the commentary. Uh, Fate of Atlantis, Stephen. Yes, Indiana Jones: The Fate of Atlantis, which of course I got a box now, cost me a hundred pounds. The Demand Justice. House is breaking my mind, Jamie. Ban them. <laughs> oh, Mr. Smith's house. I actually met Smith's house in twenty. Was it 20... No, 2019, wasn't it? it was, it's gone so fast. And it was lucky I met him when I did, because, of course, lockdown happened not long after that. Or was it very early? No, it was very early 2020. It was February 2020, wasn't it? Yeah, it's all coming back to me now. But, yeah, I, it was brilliant. I loved it. It was fantastic. It was a really, really nice dude. There's so much in common. And, of course, he loves his games. He doesn't like all of them. There's a lot of them I do like that he doesn't. But, of course, everyone's got their own likes and dislikes. But, yeah, don't mention US Gold to him, which I already did. Uh, but yeah, really nice guy. And of course, I've met Rusty James as well. Another awesome dude. And hopefully I'll meet both of them again in the future. Um, Crystal Skull. Yeah, let's not talk about Crystal Skull. What a diabolical film that was. Amazingly, I saw it at the cinema. Saw it once. Once was enough. Uh, yes, you've got your PlayStation 5. Yeah, like I said on that stream, uh, I don't have the PlayStation 4. I don't have a PlayStation 5. I've got PlayStation 1, 2 and 3. But I don't have any more than that. don't have the main buy it. So I don't even know how much they are these days. But I do know quite a lot of people that have got the PlayStation 5. So how many games you've got for your PlayStation 5, Steam Slate Goat? There we go. Right, I think we're gonna move on to another game. What do you want to see next? You want to see Agony, Dragon Fighter, PB Hammer, Ninja Remit, which is gonna be very difficult, Space Taxi 3, Denaris, and Flashback. That is Arena 4. Um Thank you very much, Andrew Dubai. Once again, thank you for the links. I really appreciate that. Um, you should play the old Monkey Island before the new. I should do. I've never actually completed any of the Monkey Island game. In fact, I didn't actually play much in other days. I have to admit, I didn't. I uh, hope you wrote SQ Ron, by the way. Um, I remember a game on the CC4, Trooty Fruity. I've heard of that. It's Bob and Man meets Interchange meets Gauntlet. Right, now again, I've got two keyboards on the go, two mice on the go, three screens on the go. So, what do you want to see first? Agony? You're going to see an Agony completion. <laughs> we'll see about that. Uh, yes, Agony is a game I've owned since the old, old days. And I've got a mint box. And yeah, you want to try and get it now. It's a very expensive box to own. But I still can't get past that final sixth level. It's not an overly long game, but it's been giving me a bit of a hard time. But we'll give it another go. And we'll see how we do today. Uh, Blood Money Completion, yeah, the two I really want to try and finish at the moment of time is Blood Money and Agony. There are a few more also, but yeah, those two in particular, which have been requested by uh, Skinwalker, who's actually here today. And uh, the Jeep, of course, has been requested by Mr. Swedish House. Again, that's brutal. It's on my list of things to do, if I can do it. But of course, I don't use cheats on this channel. Hello, this is Rusty James. Good to see you. Just in time for Agony. Today is the day, Jamie, no more Agony. Well, I will also continuously play it, even though if I do finish it, I will still play it. Absolutely so. The Big Eagle. Yes, the Big Big Eagle. The Psychnosis Eagle. Um, but again, it was like I said before, it was actually the artwork that drew me to that game. I didn't I had that, absolutely had no idea that game existed, hadn't heard of it before, but again, the artwork was sensational. Uh, and that grabbed my attention, and... What a brilliant game it was. What a brilliant game it is, though. But at the end of the day, it didn't get very far. But now, I pretty much get to level 5 or 6 pretty much every single time I do it. But it was also requested by Stevie Boy, which, again, I do miss him very much. I hope he's all right. He's been a bit poorly recently. But, yeah, Stevie Boy, I miss him. But he's also requested it as a long play as well. But, again, trying to get that first time doing. 
Um, even folks and Jamie, uh, Rusty James, how are you and D feeling? Unfortunately, they both got ill when they was on their cruise. But glad you had a good time. I saw your video and I'm glad you shared it on Discord. You had a fun time. But how are you feeling today, both of you? CGI ants look dated, whereas the ghost in the arc is 19. Yeah, CGI ants. They didn't really use a lot of CGI back in the day, did they, on those ones? But yeah, it was Crystal Skull. Yeah, a bit different, wasn't it? That's some killer ant, though, isn't it? Yeah, well, I hope you're well, buddy. Good to see you. That sounds really, really quiet. So I'm moving slow. Um, but yes, Quagers, blood money. I'm getting there. I can't get past the final level. I can get to level four. I can't get past level four. I did it a few times. I did do it once on the stream. Both Hollies were there. Oh, you've met them, have you? I met Hollies, not the band. Oh, I see, but you've done, I see what you've done there. You met Craig Charles, hang out with him and Holly at SFX, F F F S F S F X in 2012. Groovy Funky Channel 27, Chris Cole was actually the fifth instalment. The fifth instalment, was it? Well, I suppose, yeah, Fate of Atlantis was... That was technically going to be number four, wasn't it? They wanted to make that into a film, didn't they? But it never got round to it. But yeah, they made a game instead. But yeah. It's a shame, though. It's a shame. That would have been a really good film. Certainly better than Christmas Skull. Favourite Lantis, yeah. Again, thank you, Andrew Bryan, for the links. I really appreciate that. Uh, this is a two-player game. Uh, Mean Arenas, it could possibly be. I think it probably could be. Would I hope I could be wrong? Maybe it's not, I'm not sure. I don't know, I've got a manual. Right, I'll put another question on the moment. Right, luckily this has a section at the start of each level which will allow you to read the chat before we go for this difficult task. Right, questions, 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 questions. Um, no, we'll leave it for now. Oh, hang on a minute, well done there. We don't want Mean Arenas playing at the same time. I don't think it was, but there we go, I need to deactivate that. Only seen one to three of Indiana Jones films so far. Stop there, buddy. Stop there. Don't go any further. Well, you played Fate of Atlantis. Yes, that's a very good game. But yeah, don't waste your time with, uh, with um, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Great shooter, yeah. Alkenstein, good to see you, my good friend. How you doing? And remember, let's go. Hope you're well. Nice art in the game and the out animation. It was fantastic. Yeah, it was definitely a wow factor. Absolutely so. Right, I'll just increase the volume on here, which is good for me. Right, is it in shot? 34 people watching. Now, unfortunately, the gaming screen is different size screens to the loading screen. Now, also, one of the reasons why I didn't go for the OSSC today, because of course, as I've been many, many times in the past, it does tend to go out of sync quite a lot when it's a change in resolution, and with this, because of different in screen sizes, that could be an issue. <coughs> but anyway, let's see how we do. Not only really large plain field, which doesn't help with your movement of the owl, but again, the animation is absolutely superb, isn't it? I've turned it up, yeah. How the first time we heard this in the other days, this really did make us jump. We wasn't expecting it to be so loud at the start. But yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, it's, it's, ba it's basically, yeah, it is the Psychonosis Owl. Again, a really, really cool idea. Too much Parallax? Well, yeah, a lot of Parallax. On WHD load, it can be a bit of an issue on some of the screens. I think this one looks okay, actually. Now, of course, shoot them up so you know what they are capable of doing. You know what happens when you die. Not all of them do it, but sometimes you lose all your weapons. Some of you just downgrade slowly. This one is one of those ones. Yes, you downgrade very slowly. You don't get power-ups that often, but of course, you want to try and save the spells, what I tend to do. Um, but yes, once you get some of your bullets and two swords, you start to get your spells. But what I try to do is try and save it for the last level. But anyway, we... Not there yet, got a long way to go though. But yeah, if you get hit on the face, you die. I'm still not sure to this day if you die by getting hit on the wings. I'm not sure. Maybe. 
but certainly in the face it's an instant kill. But also you can earn additional lives from score, but I believe it's a maximum of five, I remember what I think. Mean. Love the dramatic music, yeah. So who's played this and how far have you got without sheets? How you doing Alkenstein? Welcome to the stream, hope you're well. It's an hour rather than an eagle. Yes, definitely an hour. <laughs> definitely an hour. However, I've always liked the Psygnosis logo. It's fantastic. It really is good. Yeah, and the water animation, again, a bit like Lemmings, I suppose, in this way. But yeah, it's really well done. It really is good. It really is good. Right, the swords, I think, are actually more powerful than the projectiles themselves. One from the top, one from the bottom. We've got a four. It's a good achievement, this actually do wrong. Hope you're well, mate. How's your training going? Right. 39 people watching. Not got fun a game. It's a game I prefer to watch others play. Like me, yeah? <laughs> I think it's fantastic. It's very, very good. And this is definitely a wow factor. Not only for the box art, but when I first saw this for the first time. Oh, yeah, Mega makes it possible. Right, first boss. And of course, there's an easier way of doing this and a more difficult way of doing this. Yes, I know the way you do it. I'm going to do it like this. Yeah, amazing spikes. There you go, with power. Turn it up, I did indeed. Uh, Daz Gamer, you are Daz Man, yes, he's Daz Man 79 on Twitch. He's a mere gamer on here. No, Daz Gamer, no, that's, that's not Daz Man, no. <laughs> Hello to Brenry. There's quite a few Dazzes, yes. I think there's three Dazzes on this chat now. Yeah, we need to have like a Daz 1, 2, 3, I think. Hope you're well, Brenry. That's man, there he is. Level 3 for you, Daz Gamer. Um, such a big target. Yes, you are a big, big target, which is, of course, you're much easier to hit. <sighs> right. Sip of orange juice. <laughs> I heard you heard me. I mentioned you, yes. Well, I mentioned the birthday boy. Yeah, thank you very much for the follows. Also, Mitch Fensel, thank you very much for the follow on Twitch. Really appreciate it. So, probably, probably not used to hearing my voice properly. Um, but yeah, I must get back on Twitch. I will eventually get back on Twitch, but of course, not as often as YouTube. Never so often, we'll spice up a little bit. Um, but yes, I do like Twitch. I have to admit, I never used to use it back, never used to use it back in the day. Uh, but I do use it a lot more now. Um, but I do prefer YouTube. Always have done, always will be. Will do. Um, just the main focusing point on the channel. If I wasn't doing videos, then yeah, it probably wouldn't make sense to stay on YouTube. But yeah, because I do videos as well, which of course viewers are enjoying, hopefully, then there's no reason to give it up. So I will always, always be on YouTube, always. Right, I've got two swords, boom, boom, and power. Uh, I believe it's Jerome Tell. Yeah. Which of course is a legend. And again, like, Elsbeck, like, um, Dancer Brimble, Leech. They don't make bad songs. Yeah, there are some bad songs on the but you won't get any by those artists. No, no way. Of course, yes, not only on the Mega, but also on the City 4. Storm Lord's name one, that's fantastic. It really is good. Your own tail, there you go. Thank you, Sweet as House. <laughs> awesome moderator. Right, so now we're going to start picking up the scrolls. Press the space bar to see what we've got. But again, I'm trying to save them for the later levels ahead. Man, Batman. Hello to Baz Harvey. Good to see you. All good here, my friend. A bit hot. Um, but yeah, I'm going for a difficult completion today. Hopefully. Can't guarantee, but I'll give it a damn good go. We have a mixed bag on the list today, but nothing wrong with spicing up a little bit. A bit of shoot 'em up, a bit of adventure. A bit of 
strategy. Let's go the way. But yes, we've talked about copyrights many, many times in the past. But yeah, Alice Brimble and Jerome Tell, I don't really tend to get any copyrights. It's, it's mostly um, Barry Leach. Mostly. I do get the occasional one from Hell's Bear, but it's mostly Barry Leach. But yeah, Brimble, I don't think I've ever had a Brimble copyright, actually. I do, I do. It's not, not the end of the world. It's not a, a proper strike. It's just like you don't earn revenue for it. But I don't earn a lot of revenue anyway. It's a hobby. It's not a job. Yes, got, <laughs> got bazzes and dazzes. Yes, we have. <laughs> yes. Unless your name's Darren. A lot of you might actually be called Darren. You'd like to be called Daz for short. It's like me. A lot of people called me Jay back in the old days. You know, my brother used to call me Jay. My thumb's hurt already, but luckily this game has auto fire. Alright, avoid the boomerangs, avoid the yellow bullets. And also, the enemy projectiles will stop yours. So yeah, if there's a lot of enemies, a lot of enemies behind each other, you'll kill the one in front before you can attack the one on the back. Yeah, they are big projectiles, but can be blocked. Hello to Ant-Man, good to see you. Hi there, Just Games. J Just Games. Yes, we'll go with that as well. <laughs> More Just Games works for anything. Heath is a unique name like you. You're an awesome dude, guys. But yeah, like I said, he's been very poorly, so mate, please do get well soon. He's been through a rough time. Lord Infinity, again, thank you for your request the other day. Hopefully we'll put that to test very soon. Uh, Barry Leach did the music for the CG4 game, The Machinations, which came out this year. We had a storm and a bit of refreshing rain today, a nice cool down. Yeah, just go, in the, go out in the garden and just do that. Ah, nice and cool, we love that. Have some of that, yeah. Yeah, Heath, I have to admit, back in all the days, I never knew anyone called Heath. There's only one of you. Fantastic. There wasn't actually many Jamies. We had, I think it was the only Jamie at school. My game, my favourite game musician. Good question. Um, probably Hellsbeck. Alec Pallet, good to see you, my friend. How you been? My name is Noir Automata. I am the android living in the room. You stop bleeding, mate. I'm pleased to see that now. I'm pleased, pleased to hear about that now. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I couldn't believe that when you sent me that picture. It was quite early in the morning. I didn't have, I was a bit too tired to respond. Um, but yeah, that looked, looked bad. But hopefully not in any pain, mate. How you doing, Ant-Man? Uh, some sensors of rain up here. In, well, we need some rain in here as well. Just avoid electronics, that's be good. Yeah, machinations, I don't recall that one. Uh, level four for you, Rusty James. Too many dazzes, four dazzes now. Music's amazing, yeah. Level three for Daz Gamer, not got far. Let other people watch. Level four for you. Use this music on Springwatch. Use to watch Springwatch back in the day, yeah. Go back and raise my mem If I go back and raise my memory of S8 Game of Thrones. I've never ever seen Game of Thrones before. By the way, not just Drone Tell responsible for all the music tracks in this game, the ending instance by Robert Ling and Martin Wall, to my knowledge. I've heard the outro is very good, but I've never actually heard it before. Right. Metal Android, Ang Ang Agony Beast. Um, are you off, are you, pal? Take it easy, good extra life. Um, yeah, mate, I, I didn't realise that game existed. So thank you for the request. Always nice people doing requests. Always good to see. Oh, poo! See, I was stuck in a situation, but never mind, we should be alright. You can get those eyes back. Just 
chat's not scrolling down for some reason. But yeah, that looked like I've made contact with the wings. That maybe you do die if you get hit on the wings. I was never really sure if that was a real life thing. I wasn't sure. It was just a face. Yeah, it's fantastic. It really is good animation, yeah. I don't think I've ever played this one. It was just me, this one. But yeah, it was it was a, a definitely a mouth-dropping moment when I first saw that. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it for the description. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. When we get to 2,000 subscribers, which I have to admit, it's been a very, very tough task. We're going to go for the next installment of Organist Games Quizzes. And the last one included fire. Yeah. Yeah, lots of people involved with the music, yeah. Quite a rare thing, I suppose. Mon monkey Pops. <laughs> Sigma Star is a top-down shooter. Oh yes, of course you love your shooter maps, yeah. What's your latest? You, 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 you buy quite a lot of them, don't you? You're a bit of a game, bit of a game collector as well, aren't you? What's the latest one you bought? What did you think of that R-Type that you bought? The Collector's Edition. I think you got the same one as I did. Fly Shadow and Shadow Beast. Yeah. I love Shadow Base. <laughs> no, you're too awesome to do that. Well, I suppose you could. <laughs> to make that work. It had to be our type, didn't it? It had to be. Yeah, you've been here a long time, Zajai. Good to see you. Mega Bang, good to see you, Mega Bang. I wonder what you would be like if the swamp hole puts on the poles. Yeah, some people did have a little bit of issues with the colour on this. Um, yeah, sometimes it's difficult to tell where the enemies are. It's difficult to blend in with the background. But yeah, it would be difficult, yes, if you can react with the backgrounds. Yeah, that would be quite tough, yeah. Good to see you, Mega Bang. What time is it where you are? Probably very, very early or very, very late. One of the two. Oh, poo! Terrible, terrible, terrible. Killed by extending tongue. Yeah, what you're trying to do, which I'm trying to do, is move around, don't get the bullets too close together. Early in the pre-dawn, Jamie. Is it Friday, Saturday, for you? Cool pins, but want them minty and papers minty. Yes, I'm not going to use any of those. They're too good to use. I don't really like them house. Nice stuff to see use. I'm organising a new mod music cart for the Sega Mega Drive. So far, there's 14 tracks from different artists. That sounds good. Dad's Game, that's so kind of you. You deserve more subscribers, Jamie. Don't understand why you haven't, mate. That's really kind of you to say so. Maybe I started the channel too late. If I started a long time ago, it might be a different story. But, like I say, it really did bring my social life back. Um, you know, so many of you are joining on my Friday night streams. You know, you could be doing other things, but here you are watching me play these beautiful games. And uh, it really means a lot. Right. A few silly deaths there. Well, eight people involved in the music in this game. No wonder it's good. Uh, one million subs to Jamie, that would be a stream job. If I could do this for a job, that'd be fantastic. It would never get to that point. But we can dream, of course. But yeah, Retro Memoirs, hope you're well, how you been? Off to watch Stranger Things with the family, enjoy the stream photos. Take it easy, Quagas. Not heard about him leech for a while, need to check out his new tune on the machin Machination. See, I don't know that one. Rum and painkillers works, Jamie. A lot of layers of background, yeah. Uh, very clever to make it without the fireballs blending in with the background. I hate shoot em ups with little dots for fireballs. Yeah, there are a lot of shoot em ups with yellow dots for fireballs. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's worse, fast moving fireballs or the slow moving fireballs. Yeah, I don't know what is more difficult to do. I suppose... Sometimes slow down can watch your advantage, but if you're getting boxed into a corner and you've got slow moving bullets coming your way, 
Which what happened earlier on today, got hit on both wings. Yeah, that could be a different task. But sometimes fast moving bullets can be a bit more easier, I think. Yeah, what do you think? Slow bullets or fast bullets? Which is, which is worse? Right, what am I making up the do? This level, you're going to lose your top sword. What I have at the pizza! Which amazingly, I didn't, I didn't burn, actually. It was edible. <clears throat> and the proof was, to this house, I ate it. If it was burnt to a crisp, I would have ate it. So that's the proof. Could have been a bit bigger, but there we go. It's not filled my belly, but okay, it's better than nothing. <clears throat> it was a mint feast. I bought from... Uh, farm foods. Yeah, about two pounds. About two pounds. But then you, you buy a cheap pizza, you're going to get a small pizza, aren't you? Fast is worse for you. Fast and tiny. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah, these aren't that small, are they, really? Oh, this is... Terrible, Jamie! Oh my lord. Maybe come back to it later, who knows? We'll see. I haven't played it for so long, actually. Hmm. Need a miracle here, I think. Big and slow. Yeah, it's quite surprising this wasn't AGI, actually. I mean, it was going to be a remake, wasn't there? Uh, I don't know how far it got. It was certainly one level at least, but it didn't really do it for me. It looks okay, but no, it's it's it's. I'm a bit picky with remakes. I have to admit, especially with games with a lot of memories, a lot of nostalgia. But I suppose in a way, it is good to see. But, you know, this is best. Lord of Rings of Lord of Rings and Lion King. Extra life. We have a lot to make a lot of making up to do here, Jamie. Sometimes I probably would have hit the escape key by now. Let's see what happens. Yeah, make sure those bullets are not too close together. Again, with that wide wings. You don't want those bullets close. Move up and down, spread those bullets out. And don't be hit by them. But this one has killed me quite a lot of times. Sometimes I have these spells here. Not here, not now. Oh, hit on the tail that time. I think mean, that's game set and match that time. The rock boss. Oh, so close as well! Oh, my lord. Food has lost my interest lately. It tastes different now and not as good. You're welcome, Jamie. You're a good guy and brilliant gamer and help. It's great reading comments and your enthusiasm is retro here. Thank you for so, for so much. It's really kind of you. It's all about the viewers. It's all about the viewers. If I didn't have any viewers, I wouldn't bother doing it. There's no point. It's not about the game. It's not about me. It's the viewers. The viewers are the most important. Weird you can tell if they're mm, taking hits. Uh, Mr. Raw, always need to at least two or three times before I get into agony. At least after a while since I have played it. Well, sometimes I do play better on stream than I do at home. Sometimes. The weirdest one is when it's a game you can't do. You've had so many attempts and you go away from it for a while. A two or three weeks, maybe a month. You come back and you do it first time. Sometimes you do it the first time, sometimes you just can't do it. You've had so many attempts, you just can't do it. Sometimes it all just fits nicely in place. But it does help when you get that first time completion. It really does help. It's like Shadow of the Beast. It took me absolutely years to get that first time completion. Now I've completed it so many times. Now it's just a case of how fast can I, can I finish it now. I don't always finish it, but most of the times I do. But yeah, the confidence you get when you get a first time completion is amazing, it really is. So much confidence. Oh, not happy with that one. Uh, Jamie does that every day. 
Spatula, uh, never seen this level. Well, I might have another go later on. Burnt Pizza is a classic, not by Mordor's game standards. That's why you need an egg timer, which of course Bridges House gave me. And I've used it some, sometimes. Not every time. Right. Not happy with that one. Yeah, that's a good point. I have some of those games also, but most games I need to warm up first. Yeah, be like me on this one, really. I'm not impressed with that one. Right, I might come back to that later on. Might have another go later. We'll see what we do for time. <laughs> Check bosses, yes. Uh, right, a few people mentioned PB Hammer. Are you ready for some PB Hammer? I like PB Hammer. Yeah. So the title, the game music, yeah, Drone Tale, but yeah, you mentioned about eight people there. I can do better, mate. That's the thing. I know I can. I know I can. I definitely, definitely can do better than that. But that was the first attempt in this room, I suppose. We'll go with that. Bye, Snowy Owl. Thank you very much. Um, but yeah, it's crazy bits like that, isn't it, Mr. Roar? Yeah. Crazy, isn't it? Right, we'll go for something completely different. So yeah, 70 levels, but again, I've never ever finished it before, but we'll give it a go. <clears throat> Jamie, do you remember when I said to you that Blood Money would be the toughest test you've ever had? Although, you know, well, it was quite some time ago when you first mentioned it, but yeah, I've made so much progress since then. Back in the days, it was very rare I even got past the first level, but the levels are very long. There's only four levels. But yeah, the levels are very long. But yes, you've got to pay to go to each planet, which of course you can't do... Well, you can do them in any order, before you've got the money to do it, but you can't go to level three or four, you don't have enough money at the start, and you've got 200 pounds. But yeah, since you made that request, I've definitely got so much better. Um, so yeah, it's, it's definitely paying off. I'm definitely making progress. Some people said it's impossible. It's not impossible, it is definitely likely. It's definitely doable. The problem is, if you fail, it's a lot to redo. It's a lot of work to redo. Especially if you get to the last level, it takes a long time to get there. Um, but yeah. What is difficult about that is trying to find the money. Trying to pick up the money is what tends to kill me the most. Sometimes you can be a little bit too greedy, try and pick up the money and take a hit or two. But the trouble is, you lose all your abilities. You get all that money again and buy it again. But yeah, it can take quite some time. But those turrets, those evil turrets are the worst. They are the worst. Right, PP Hammer is pneumatic drill. Where is it? Let's try and find it. I've got... Mm, there you go. Right, we're going to a question. We'll load this up. Uh, next question. The question is, where is it? Right, oh, okay. How many games do you name which allows you to dig? Don't have to be Amiga, it could be whatever you want. Games that you can dig. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't actually opened it. It's still sealed. Yeah. It's very small text, though. Meets PP, the man... Is it loading? I don't know. I don't know if it's loading. I might do a quick reboot. Mr. Driller, I love that game. Got it on the PlayStation 1. Nope. Reboot. Reboot. Lemmings, I'll be very, very surprised he didn't say Lemmings. Uh, Mr. Driller, Diggers. I got that on the CD32. I've got two versions. I'm not good at it. Don't know what I'm doing after that. I know you can dig. I know you got to dig to find diamonds. Of course, there's a lot more to it than that. But yeah, I, I don't know what I'm doing after time. Um, but I do like the music. It's very atmospheric, isn't it? It's very dark and gloomy. Um, right, do that again, shall we? Do it better again. Um, P P P P P P P. Digger City Fight Two best soundtrack. Yeah, I, like, I do like the soundtrack. Yeah. Be a good sort of soundtrack to play on Halloween, wouldn't it? Um, Oil Imperium. I've heard that. I've definitely not played it though. Amazing, I found it once before, and I've got to try and find it again. I've, this has always been a difficult task for me, trying to find them. For some reason, this is not in alphabetical order, which I've never really understood why. Right, it should work this time. I played it earlier on today as a test. It worked. 
MASH. And of course Minecraft, which I have on the Xbox 360, but I didn't really get into that. That looks more promising. Um, MASH, Lemmings Revolution, Dig Dug, of course, Fate of Atlantis. He, he does, he does indeed, yes. Sonic Adventure 2, Emerald Mines, good one. Hello to Amitopia, 2, in, uh, 2 TV, good to see you. Worms, yep. Yeah, worms, you do it in that game. Yeah, that's, that's, you want, that's a sort of coward way out of it, isn't it? You want to try and get yourself safe. Like, if your energy is very bad, you want to try and get those airstrikes. You dig down and try and be safe from other incoming worm projectiles. That's a good way of using up the time for sudden death, for example. Sonic Adventure 2, I never played that one. Emerald Mine, Mr. Do. Uh, yeah, I saw that. Um, Zelda games have shovels in some of them. Just Digger. Don't know that one. Lemmings, Retro Memoirs. Yep. Plays a bigger part in that one. Right, give me your name, stranger. My name is Jamie. Oh, Dust Digger. Really? Monkey Islands? No idea. No idea. I know you go in the water, you'd hold his breath for 10, ten minutes. Right, this has time limit. It's the first game today that's had a time limit. Dizzy Treasure Island, I have that as a box. Never finished it before. That was the first Dizzy game I played. I think most people would probably that one for their first Dizzy game. It took us ages to figure out how to get off the, the beach. We used a treasure chest. I'm trying to find that snorkel. Right, amazingly, that's in shot, actually. Is it loud enough? Let me know if it needs a bit of a tweak, but hopefully it's going to be a bit better than last time. Because last time, the audio was too quiet. Believe that. Anyway. Rules of the game. Find the treasure. Now, I saw someone playing this the other day on Twitch, and I thought, you know what, I want to play that again. It's located okay at the top of the screen, how much treasure we've got to find. We have six lives, and our time limit is there as well. But of course, you get additional skills along the way. F1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. But of course, the biggest issue in here, the biggest important thing in this game, is digging. But, why it's problems? It's not a bad, bad, bad problem. But of course, yes, the blocks can actually replenish. So you can be killed by a block. So, use F1, 2, and 3, and 4, 5, with additional coins and additional coloured keys. Once you find all of them, the door is open to you. You go through and you check this fucking stuff. Worms, PP Hammer, um, Sonic Colours, I've not played that one. Sonic Lost Levels, I've not played that one either. We don't need time limits. I don't mind time limits, as long as the time is not too tight. The classic example is Navy Seals, which I played the other day. Level 2 got me again. However, I had a, good, a very good attempt, probably the best attempt I've ever had. I got to remaining four TNTs remaining, but again, the time got me. But yeah, the time is too tight on that one. Right, Disc Operation, hit fire, level 2. Pokemon you can dig. Never ever played Pokemon, never seen Pokemon before. Blood, I've seen that on PC, never played it before. I think SQ1 played that. Right, so of course, this is a little bit like Rick Dangerous. There are so many traps in this game. Not quite as many as Rick Dangerous, but give it a run for its money. So that will make you jump to high ground. So this one, we've got to find four more bits of treasure. Uh, red will replenish your energy. Uh, oil makes you drill faster. Um, yellow. I can't what yellow does. I cannot remember. However, you cannot take the potion onto the next stage. That's a trap up there. It makes you go left, not right. So you're going to get crushed by a falling block. Shaggy's Boutte. Yes, he does. Dig to find a yellow key. I showed you indeed. But yeah, again, i said it many, many times in the past. This game, we got it from one of my brother's friends. They copied us that floppy. And yeah, really good game. I like it. Always like this game. But yeah, 70 level is going to be tough to do. Right, F5. I love the sound effects as well. And you get bonus stages, which, you, which allow you to find additional hearts. Hearts are lives in this game. There we go. Lovely music, I'm a fan of the pan pipes, are you? Don't you dig in Minecraft? You well you do that, don't you? You do that. Yes. Let's give it that question now, Jamie. Yeah, I've got it on the Xbox 3 I've tr I've played it a few times, but I just can't get into it. I don't know why. I want to. But of course, I know it's very popular with the children. Um it's done incredibly well. It, it's it was you know, it was mind blowing for, for some people, wasn't it? 
Don't copy that Fobby. Well, I have to admit, we didn't do it much. It was our friends. Blame our friends. But of course, we all did it our own ways. To some more than others. And some probably still do. I mean, I'm still putting games on occasionally on floppy disk, which is what I did with uh, Space Taxi. Which amazingly is not on WHD Low. So I've got it today, put it on a floppy disk, and it should work. Bonus levels, yeah. I'm going to try and get a few levels done. But yeah, again, never finish it. Who has finished this game without cheats? You never played Minecraft? Yeah, I, there's a few expos I went to, and uh, of course you get your retro gaming sections, your PC sections, and this this one I went to, this is big open room, and it's literally just Minecraft. It's just all Minecraft, and uh, it was all children in there. There wasn't one single adult playing Minecraft. All children on their headsets and all that. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much for the younger generation. I mean, it's impressive what they can do. It really is impressive. They can do all these sort of fancy dancy things, but yeah, I don't know how to do it. Right, let's go and find us real life. Bonus round. Who doesn't like a bit of Lego? But again, time is tight. Even more tighter in this. Find the heart. Don't have to get the it fruit. It helps additional points. Boom boom pow! Have some of that. I've just booked time off. Are you going to Blackpool? Man, it's great to see. I, I, a few people have asked me that, including Luke Rainford. It's about six hours from me, from here. It's a long way. But I've never actually been to Blackpool before. Not once. Got far, but never finished it. How far have you got? Got any little cliffhanger like that? How far have you got? 70 levels in total. How far have you got? Don't copy that floppy. Bonus levels are when you find hearts. Exactly. Lego Worlds. Never played that. Amazingly, I've never played that. Uh, yeah, ooh, ook, 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 we want to say it. Yes, I do like that. It's it's basically Space Taxi, isn't it? It's a rip-off, isn't it? Prehistoric version of it. Yeah, I do like it, though. So you stay in the night. You go into the first, stay in the night, come back on the second. That, that's a good... Uh, uh, makes sense. It does make sense. Right, out revenge. So, oil. That'll make you drill faster. Now this one, I don't know why, I always tend to get lost from time to time, but hopefully not today. But you also do get teleportation sequences, which can be quite handy. But of course, stay out of the water, you can't swim. Stay out of fire, be burnt to a crisp, and pick up those treasures. When he calls, he goes with his hat. Yeah, going Friday, coming back Sunday. Make, oh, Friday and Sunday. Make, makes, makes perfect sense. Will it be a video for that then? I reckon so. Oh, what's that? Oh. I've never seen this one before. Uh. Oh. Ooh. Okay. I've never seen that one before. No idea there was a secret there. Ah! Oh, good idea. It worked! Woohoo! No, it didn't work. We did work. Just not quick enough. Uh, I believe I made it six. What on this? Huh. Okay. We find. We need to find a yellow key. Yeah! I was going to use a big high jump. That's a good idea. It could have worked. Uh, Mario Land 2. I've played that, yeah. Can I go wrong with a little bit of Mario? Right, this is a bit I tend to forget, so we're not going to forget them today. Yeah, get out of there quickly before one consumes you. Yeah, there was an update. I've not, I've not read all of it. It's a little bit too much reading for my liking, but yes. Of course, Spectrum Next can be have a big, big delay. But of course, won't it be, won't it be right? Won't it be good? And they're going to make it good. It's going to be very good. Um, but it takes as long as it takes. You want it to be perfect, of course. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's a long game, though. But I'm sure he's got very far. If it's US Gold, he probably wouldn't have played it. Be worth the wait. Yeah, absolutely so. Yeah. I agree.
Yeah, Mega 37 in, in Germany, yeah. It's just, it's typical, isn't it? That the lockdown prevented the one in, happening in the UK, which I was going to go, and a lot of people were going to go as well. But yeah, it's good for Andrew Debrine, and I'm very pleased he's been able to go. But yes, of course, I am jealous. Very, very jealous. Of course. Mario 3 is still one of the best, yeah? I've got more memories of the first one. Just play on arcades. Didn't really get far, though. But, it's always good to play. Right. Now you have energy bar, um, but yes, you fall in the water. It's not instant kill, but try and get out of there whenever you can. Yes, see there is only one hour away from you, Rusty. I think a, a t-shirt or hat to wear so you recognise me. That's fantastic. So how far is it for you, Rusty James? Three hours? Two, three hours? Right, eight more to find. Mario 2 was a different game originally, wasn't it? It stands out as a different and people were relieved that Mario 3 came along. Yeah, there wasn't many friends I knew that had that one. Um, there was only a few people I knew that had Nezzes and Snezzes. But yeah, I didn't get my first Snez Nez for many, many years. In fact, I got my Snez from a boot fair. I bought my Nez from Dixon's, but I sold it a very long time ago. Same as my Sega Saturn. That was also bought from... Ooh! That was also bought from uh, Dixon's. And the reason why I sold that because my TV in my bedroom didn't have a SCART cable, so I could plug it in. My lord, that was lucky. How do you use five minutes? That, I don't know. Dookie, dookie panic. I don't know. I like the name, though. Right, 246 remain. Jump over the snakes, climb the ladders, stay out of the water. The music's okay. The music is okay. It's, it's not the greatest, but it's okay. Right, one more to find. Hopefully I've done this correctly. Most levels were like a joke. Right. Again, like a bit dangerous. The occasional traps are in the, thrown into the mix. In this case, remembering where they are. I've missed one piece of treasure. Where is this piece of treasure? Where are you? It's not over there. Yeah, I'm, I'm so glad you went. And of course, you met some awesome dudes there. Including Chris Hellsberg, of course. Yeah, so I was jealous. Just a little bit. <laughs> well, a lot of it, actually. Hello, Paul. Hello, Dicey. Good to see you. How you doing? How's life in the USA? Is this mystery piece of treasure? Lost levels, not most. Yeah, I've got. Um, yeah, I've got. I have played that. Um, yeah, it was a compilation of the snares, wasn't there? Um, which I cannot remember its name, but I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> the Beast Master. Yes. That's me! Oh, treasure, treasure, treasure. How you doing, Paul? And how are you doing, Amitopia TV? All Stars, that's the one. That's the one. Yeah. I'll do one just down here. Oh, there you are. Found you. You little rascal. Right, find the exit door. That's time. I've got to get this little time this game. Yeah, not too shabby. It's chucking it down, is it? Yeah, it seems to be quite a few places, but not here, amazingly. I mean, it's it has rained quite a lot, which is making this summer a normal UK summer. It always rains here in the UK in the summer. But it's absolutely boiling, it really is. I've only got one streaming light in here now, but it is still very boiling. So 
amazing how much heat one light gives off. Two was a lot. One is still quite a bit. But yes, I'm <laughs> roasting like a fancy bit turkey here. Right, 55 seconds remain, Jamie. We'll get moving. Uh, I got nine more days to go. And yes, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm technically over the halfway mark now. But yeah, those of you who don't know, uh, I've got myself a new job. I've done two weeks so far. I'm doing four weeks notice. It's going to be a lot better for me. More money. I'm doing slightly more hours, but it's a place I've worked with before. And I like it there. It's going to be a lot better where I'm working now. So I'm definitely going to be a lot more happier coming home from work. And hopefully, I'll look forward to going there. So yeah, the countdown has begun. Yes, I've got it on my cinema uh, sign up there. Every day I keep adjusting it. It's the first thing I do when I come home from work is change it from 11 to 10, 10 to 9, whatever the case may be. Yeah, I cannot wait. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be more money. It's going to be so good. So good. It's what I desperately need. Right, okay. The Ice Riddle. Right, two of these are bad. One of them is not. The colour of the sky is not black, it's blue. Right, we're not going to be using wrong decisions here. Right, so, three more. Not everything is yellow. It's red, isn't it? So, red key for the red lock. There we go. Do you remember the brightness of gold? Yes, I do. It's yellow. Placebo, I've got... I've got the greatest hits. I've got two albums. Sleeping with Ghosts. I'm not actually. And Meds. And of course, the greatest hits. I don't have any earlier stuff, actually, amazingly. You can dig in SimCity 2000 and transport so I can. I, like, I do like SimCity. Always have done, but I'm not great at it though. I keep losing lots and lots of money. I can't make that money back. Making money is very crucial in that game. However, the amount of times I, I give up and just. Set all the disasters in place. You can be quite mean in that game. Anything from asteroids to swarms of locusts to earthquakes, even riots, you can put into the mix. That's like the last hurrah. I give up now. I can't do it. Just set everything to carnage. Which is a bit mean, really. Right, three more. Right, down there. English Summer Rain, yeah, that was on Sleeping With Ghosts album, which of course rains, yes it does. English Summer Rain, yes. Try to remember the lyrics. English Summer Rain, uh, always lasts for ages. So, I can't remember now. I know what you mean though. I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> I'm not going to sing on stream though. I sing in the car. Yes. Hammer that like button. Thank you very much. Always stays the same. Nothing ever changes. Even this summer rain it seems to last for ages. Isn't that weird? All of a sudden it just boom like that. It's crazy. There's been times where you can't think of something. All of a sudden it just it just pops into your head. There we go. Right, we've got nine lives. What are the snowballs? I do like these sort of levels, you know, every level is it's not always the same same theme, got hidden points. Not the greatest description, we'll go with points. But anyway, every time you hit one of the points, you go back to the start. It's not just in kill, but we're jumping like on a pogo stick at the time. Right, so for the spikes. Casual hearts are also hidden. Everything is invisible. Right. I always make that mistake. All the time. The pal. Pure morning, good song. Yeah. In fact, I bought that album because I liked um, The Bitter End. That was my favourite. I don't think that album scored over really high though. I can fully understand, that's really great. We have an arcade museum not so far away from these machines too. Have a great weekend there, Rusty James. Of course, you're very good at showing how much you appreciate Morgan's games. Love that. You are a true gem, my friends. Andrew Dubliner, 
It is a true gem. You all are. Every single one of you are. I think you can dig at the start of that level. Possibly. Possibly. More than likely. Hello, Oxo Good. Always good to see you. <laughs> um, uh, maybe we can get some exclusive photos or movie clips. Yes. I would love to go, but unfortunately, I haven't got a passport. I was going to get one, but of course, then lockdown happened. I thought there was no point. Uh, of course, furlough happened. I was on less money. I thought, no. It's on hold. Two put five hours for you. That's not too shabby at all. Yeah, the biggest. Uh, you most likely got further than me, if that any comfort. Okay, so what games you guys been playing recently? What's the, the one you've been playing recently? What's the one you're trying to complete? Yeah. Me? There's loads I'm trying to complete at the moment. There's so many. But of course, I don't use cheats, which makes it very difficult. But well, that's what makes retro so brutal. We love the challenge of it. Right. So, we need to find a jumping potion. Alcatraz, I've played that. I got nowhere in that game. But I do prefer Hostages. It's technically the same game, really, in a way, I suppose, isn't it? But yeah, I do like that a lot more. Um, but I do like the look of Alcatraz. Again, it's it's a shame it's got the split screen. It's a shame. A bit like Lotus 1. I've messed this up, haven't I? I have really messed this up. Yes, I have. I've messed up right up. <laughs> Uh, yeah, hope you're well, Dink Williams. Uh, I liked the first Pacific Over, but I haven't followed them much since. Are they still going? I don't know if they're still going or not. Probably. Probably. There you go, you little rascal. There you go. So, we use the jumping potion. Wait for that to repair. She has a smoke. No, you've messed it up again, Jamie. Key. Key. How it's gonna wear off. No, that's your last chance. No. I am gonna get that, yes, but I'm gonna get a physical version, which I've, I've always preferred to do, get more for your money. But yeah, I do like the look of it. Right, do it properly. Dig and find the hyper jump key. Right, right, so there. Wait for it to replenish, Jamie. That saves the potion. He believes he can fly, so he'll escape if it's true. Yeah, it's quite a pixelated jump, that one. Come on, Pippi Hammer. Woohoo! Get out of there! Right, there we go. Not expertly done, but there we go. Um, F1. Oh, that's one piece of treasure. Right, we'll find a hidden section. <laughs> yes. Not a fan of pixel lady jumps. Uh, there's quite a few games that have those, but yeah, sometimes you do it first time, and sometimes it takes a few more attempts. Bruce Lee 2 had a lot of problems with that one. That one has lots of pixel lady jumps. <laughs> Is there a quiz question? There will be a next another quiz when I reach 2,000 subscribers. I have to admit, I got I got to 1,000 a lot quicker than I got. Well, we're not technically there yet. I thought getting to 2000 would be a lot more simpler, but it hasn't been. It really, really hasn't. It really hasn't. YouTube has got quite difficult now. The algorithm is quite difficult now. Um, right, so find the blue key. Right, we shall do. You remember about you beating this one, yeah? Um, hope you do it. Hope, oh, so good, how you doing? I was playing Samba de Amigo on the old Wii earlier and with the kids. It's super fun. I've heard of it. That's why we got the, um, is it the, uh, so it's the type of hats. Subero? Um, Subero? 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 I might have just made something up there. Like the Fiamigo Amigos, all hats. The ones you get at, um, <coughs> what's that shop? What's that restaurant? Uh, Nando, not Nando's. Oh, my 
launch any boxes up from the corner here. That Mexican restaurant, which I can't think of its name. Ah, oh, you deserve that. So much complete competition. Yeah, there is. There is. There is. One of ten subs shouldn't be that hard. <laughs> it is going to be difficult. But again, it's this is hot. It's a hobby. It will take as long as it takes. But I love it. I love doing it. Right. So where'd I go wrong? The blue water. Yeah. Stay away from the blue water. Well, it does say there. I think sometimes it does say. Jump from there to there, don't you? Yeah, that's what I should have done. That's health. Right. I feel much better now! Dig, dig, dig. Okay, get out of there. Get out of there. Um. Sombreros, yes, I got on a major twist there. A sombrero, yes. Oh my lord. Still can't figure that restaurant, the Mexican restaurant. We had those sombreros. We've got one here in Ashford, I can't remember its name. It's definitely not Nando's. Alright, down we go. No, we won't go down there. Are you fool we'll do that? <laughs> Jamie, don't do that again. Uh, making a VTuber model seems like a way to get people excited. I've seen quite a few of them, yeah. Very impressive. Really is good. I don't know how they do it though. It's really clever. That seems to be mostly on Twitch, doesn't it? People do that. Hello to Mark, you finished work, yeah? Welcome, my friends. Hope you solved your problem. Uh, that was a bit of a nuisance, what you have to deal with this week. Las Iguanas, no, I can't think of the restaurant. I'm probably not going to lose sleep over it, but it's a little bit annoying, I can't think of its name. Uh, <laughs> but then, you know me, I'm always getting a major tangle. How you doing, Mark? Welcome to the stream. I have problems with the bank not yet not yet solved. My lord, what's taking them so long? It's so frustrating when people do that sort of thing to you. Yeah, what is the point in cloning someone's Right, bingo. What is the point in just cloning people? What's what's the point? What a game from it. I've never had my card cloned, but I have lost a card. Twice, actually. One, the, um, the bank machine, the, 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 um, the cash machine swallowed it. It swallowed it. It just went, and didn't get it back. And another time, I was in Hungary, actually. I had a lot of bad luck when I was in Hungary. But yeah, in the UK, there was usually a order. You get the card first, then the money. And in Hungary, with a certain card machine I used, the money came out first, then the cards. The trouble is, because it was different, it was different to what I'm used to. I took the money, walked away, and left the card behind. So I made a bit of a boo-boo there. So yeah, I left it in the machine. Of course, I went back and it was gone. Trouble is, I was in different countries. I had to ring up my bank to say I've lost my car in a different, in a different country. Um, right, five seconds. Here we go. Three. Three! Superb. <laughs> Mate, I, I, don't want it to I don't want it to happen to anybody. 
Bonsai! Hello, everybody! How you doing, David? I did not want to do that. What's your weekend plans, David Jensen and Michael Jensen and Michael McCartney? What are you guys up to? You've never seen it before, really? Wow. PP Hammer and Dramatic Drill. 70 levels. What to do? I don't know how f I don't know how far I've got. I don't know. But I certainly have never completed it before. But these ladders are a bit difficult. Ooh. Ha! Time extended. Have some of that. Um, yeah, give it a try. I have two, yes. Uh, I have... I think I only, I think I only did two. Um, yeah, the surveillance camera on the front of it. Uh, we actually saw Hi-Fi when we saw Green Day. We saw them at Milton Keynes Bowl. And they were the first band. Then we saw Taking Back Sunday. Then we saw Jimmy Eat Well, which is my, my favourite band, my favourite artist of all time. Then, of course, it was Green Day, um, which was brilliant. But it was actually one of the hottest days of the year. We absolutely roasted in that sun. It was boiling. But yeah, Hi-Fi got booed. A lot of people didn't like them. I thought it was quite good, actually. I thought, yeah. Didn't waste any time to buy their album. But yeah, unfortunately, they got quite booed. Not, not quite as extreme as people even f throwing stuff at them. But yeah, a boo is not a nice thing when trying to promote yourself on stage. I play Jigsaw Junk Monsters 2 on PlayStation 4 a lot these days. I've never heard that before. Cat videos always get lots of views, but on the best of Jasper video, a boom, 110 subs. Hums. Well, Jasper is the star of the show. He always has been, always will be. But he doesn't show on streams, like I say, only when I have guests. So yeah, J Jasper, you need, to, you need to change your ways. You know what to do. Oh, I think you've forgotten what to do. Right, um... Right, again, you can't get stuck. I don't want to get stuck. Down we go. Aha! 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 I knew there's somewhere. Star Citizen GT, that's the one, yeah. The second one was okay, not as good as the first, I thought. But then, the second album is, is always difficult for, for bands. You know, the, the first album does so well, it's always difficult to try and do it again. So many bands tend to flop on their second album. Not all of them, sometimes they do it well, but some of them do tend to struggle. Which is a shame, really. Yeah, it's like the second album of death. You know, if you get round it, you're alright. But if you struggle, the fans are going to turn against you. Like um, Crazy Town, for example. Uh, their, their first album did very well, and people hated the, the second one. I liked it, actually. Of course, they split up. Um, right, so now we can jump higher. Or just use the hidden... Yeah. Right, key. Right, maybe it's the last one, move on. I'm drinking... Or uh, I'm drinking... Lucasite. I don't tend to make additional teas on stream. Otherwise, there'd be so much time away from the, the stream. Yeah, it's, it is. It is always difficult, yeah. I mean, there are a lot, a, lot, a lot of bands that haven't done it very well. But yeah, there's a lot of pressure on these bands to try and make the album as good as the first. Wanna build a snowman? Ha! Ah! No. It's like Alien Ant Farm, that's another good example. I, again, I liked their second album, but of course, the al first album did very, very good. And again, many, many people hated the second album. But they kept going, and their third album was even worse. But they did actually release another one after that, which I found in HMV in London, and that was very, very, very good. It was a really, really good album. I really enjoyed it. But yeah, some will just throw in the towel if their second album doesn't tickle the right boxes. And some will just keep plugging away. And there is a heart. Cat lives in near your laptop. Be nice and warm, isn't it? Blind jumps are so annoying. Hello, Sam. Sam81, good to see you. 
Right. Now this one, again, uh, lurking underneath tubes. Thank you so much. It's really kind of you. Thank you for the donation. Again, a big, big support to the channel. Thank you very much, Carlson Dorman. That's really kind. Oh, Thank you. Diamonds. Thank you very much, pal. Ah! And I gotta do a stupid thing like that. Risking it for a trophy. Um, I always just followed up definitely maybe with the story morning. I've got that one. They nailed the second album though. It was not my kind of music. Nice one, Diane. Thank you, Carsten. What country was it made in? Dev team, like his names, like Gunnar Lyder, Kai McCork, Eric Borker. And Dink Magorkot. I don't know, mate. I can't answer to that one. <laughs> Hope you both sound, by the way. Yeah, I don't know this pixel junk. However, that's sound like my sort of thing. Anything pixel related? Yeah, I'm interested. Right. Weird, I can see Bonsai on the stream, but not in chat. Bonsai is David Jensen. He loves his Bonsais. Yeah. And so do I. I love the Karate Kid. Oh, Stephen Sta Sta Stephen Scapegoat. I watched um, Never Ending Story the other day. Mate, I couldn't remember any of it. I remembered a few of the characters, but my lord, I couldn't remember. It was such a blur. I hadn't seen it for like 30 years. I need to watch the second one now. That's also been about 30 years. Right, again, it's hidden somewhere up here. It is here somewhere. Uh, seven euros, you can have a crisp sandwich with tea. Now, Jamie. Yes, Mike the Freeheaded Monkey loves his crisp sandwiches. And so do I. He's experimenting with them. It's a good idea. Oh, the German team made his take. Oh, really? Gotcha. There you go, my lord. Right, we're going to have another game now. What do you want to see next? Do you want to see Dragon Fighter, Ninja Remix, Space Taxi 3, Denaris, or Flashback? Yes. We're going to be playing all of them anyway. Subway. I, I, I like the meatball one. I do like that one. Right, Egyptian. Um, uh, seven euros you can buy an Amiga magazine at your local W. Smiths and a refreshing diet coke to go along with it. Sounds good to me. Flashback? Flashback. Fifteen dollars at Subway. That's a lot of money. They don't cost that much over here. Um, right, okay. Now I've put this on the CF car because the one I'm actually load is not very reliable. But this is a very quiet game, of course. Um, but yeah, it's been a question quite a few times. But hopefully, we'll play. We'll do some catechism afterwards, yes. I'm making good progress in that game, I really am. Right. Cool movie, yeah. Yeah, I have to admit, I couldn't believe how much I couldn't remember. I was watching it, I thought, right, I remember him, I remember that character, but I don't remember this bit, I don't remember that bit. But yeah, it was, like I say, it's been a long, long, long time since I last watched it. There's so many more DVDs I want to try and get, I want to try and get a lot of the old school ones, because the old school ones are so much better than the modern ones. I can go to the cinema and watch a modern film, and I'm like, yeah, it's alright, another CGI film. But the old school ones are so much better. Catechist lives, yeah. Of course, it was kind of kiss, and they changed it. Um, it was a... Um, I can't remember the story. But anyway, they weren't, they weren't allowed to use it. Some Greek, I think. Greek origin or something. Right, okay. I'm not going to play it for a long period of time, but it's always nice to see. Yeah, unfortunately, that intro does go rather quickly on the 1200. Now, when I did the long play, I did it on the 500, because you saw the full works. 
And also, this game, I'm using the keyboard, which of course has to be close. Hello to Sam M, good to see you, how you doing? Uh, again, no time it here. He does look terrified, yes. He goes for a rough time. You've not played this one before. The water is in fact no colourless. Pure water is not colourless, but a slight blue tint to it. Even seen when looking through the long column of water from Google. More useless information. It's not useless information. It's definitely not useless information. Easy money cloning cards. Unfortunately so. Unfortunately so. Pendemonium. Yes, I must buy that at some point, uh, Sean. That's, that does look very good. I played the second one a lot more. Um, but yeah, there are quite a lot of games like that. Right. Remember the first time I made... Yes, that completely utterly confused me. Yeah, I just didn't understand what you meant. In fact, it took me a whole week, and I still didn't know the answer. I thought, sweet as house, I don't understand you. And then all of a sudden, then you made me look like a lightning computer. I thought, Jamie, yeah, you should have got that. Cat a kiss. Give Jasper a cat a kiss. Yes, that's what I should have done. Again, sweet as house is a clever clock. He really is. But yes, he got me good and proper that time. And it wasn't the last time. It's definitely not going to be the... F it wasn't the first time either. Right, so of course, yes, this game is superb. Again, like I say, a very quiet game. Um, I'm going to stretch that a little bit more. But it looks the bee's knees. Amazingly, though, I've never played, even though I saw it many, many times in the shops back in the day, in Woolworths, I never played Fade to Black. But I know Erlent did finish it. Cadigus had brilliant music on the... Yeah, the CD4 version was better. It's, it's strange, because there's so many games on the Amiga and CD4, which are two completely different games. Same name, different game. Which is not a bad thing, because you're getting the best of both worlds in two decent games. So, we're using the space bar to equip the pistol. And of course, the pistol has unlimited bullets, which is a good thing. Prince of Persia in the jungle, I love Prince of Persia. Um, anyone see the new Elvis movie? No. Thinking about actually venturing to the cinema for the first time in a few years. I don't have any Elvis CDs. Um, didn't really get into Elvis, I have to admit. That sounded bad, didn't it? Right, spacebar, gun. And again, the animation is brilliant. It's really good, it's really good. But don't fall for too great a height. Now you do have the energy bar, which you can recharge. Um, but hopefully it'll be okay at the moment of time. Right, over here there should be a rock. Again, try to remember what we have to do here. Oh, poo! That's not what I meant to do. Alright. And he has that super duper jump. Which took us a long time to figure out. That was appalling, Jamie. You should be ashamed of yourself. But that's quite difficult to do. All that for cartridge. Um, BBG. I uh, just had a smoky BBG sausage sandwich for supper. Sounds nice. Barbecue. <laughs> yes, I don't have a barbecue. I don't have space for barbecue. However, my next door neighbour, about a month or so ago, did have a barbecue in his back garden. It actually looked like my, my garden was on fire. It was so bad. Uh, but yeah, he didn't invite me. A bit mean, isn't it? Right. So. Get your gun ready. Now, what we're going to try and do here, we've got to put the bridge in place on this left-hand side. So we can't just go up to it. It takes a bit more doing than that. We've got to get the charge. Uh, the cartridge, get it recharged to activate the platform. Which is there. So, we come back here later. Um, yeah, it sounded nice. I bet it was nice. It'd be good for a stream sometime. What's that? Prince of, Prince of Persia? Oh, you're still talking about the SNES one. Yeah, I haven't played it yet. I did also like, on the PlayStation 2, The Sands of Time. That was fantastic. That was a really good game. I'm assuming you probably played that quite a lot. The sandwich, yes. The crisp sandwich. is, is Yeah, back in the older days, it was always experimenting with different flavours. Tried everything. What's it? Monster Munch. Quavers. Frazzles. Walkers. There was so many possibilities. Right. 
enter f1 f1 right because i mess it up good and proper you press fire f1 enter no what do we press fire pillock uh that's not right either is it no that charges your where are we that's that jamie yeah this game does require a lot of keys no, it's, that's, that's money, isn't it? Shield's what we want, Jamie. Shield. Shield, shield, shield. Oh, I give up. Leave it, Jamie. Just don't worry about it. Leave it. Uh, Prince of Persia, 1990. Flashback, 1992. Uh, my favourite crisp sandwich are squares and Doritos. I do have discos at the moment of time. Discos are very nice, actually. I do like those. Have I done this wrong? I've got a funny feeling I've done this wrong. I think I've been an absolute nincompoop here. I think I am. We charge the cartridge. Don't we? Yes, that was enter. Right, enter. There we go. Right, so now we activate the bridge. Right, so for some reason, fire button and enter does two completely different things, even though the actions are very much the same. But there we go, we've got to use enter key. So that's three different keys. Spacebar, enter and F1. Um, yeah, bang, well, yeah, bangers and mash is like sausage and mash. Yes, we call them bangers over here, or sausages. Yeah. 1984, just Google it. Kareta was a good animation for the old game. Same maker as The Prince. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, I think that was the first one. That was, um... That was, uh... What was it done by? Bro is it Broderbund? I think it was Broderbund, wasn't it? Yeah, I've heard of it. I've seen it, but I've never actually played it myself, actually. Right, cartridge. Right, and... Da, da. F1, enter. There you go. Make, yeah, rolling all five cylinders now. Roysters, T-bone steaks. <laughs> um, not a dozen years. Give a pound. And that will stay there for the remainder of the, the time we're here. 38 people watching. Right, avoid those. You'll be electrocuted. Right, we've also got to try and find a certain quantity of credits. We've got to try and f find and purchase a gravity belt. Now, this game also does give you the opportunity to save, which can be a life saver in this game. If you make a silly mistake, like fall to a bottomless hole or something like that, you go right back to the start again. Okay. Uh, and with back music in background, many new levels. Prince of Persia. Does it have 60 minutes or does it have more? I know some have had 90 minutes. If it's got more levels, that would probably make sense to have 90 minutes. Right. Right, I'm going to increase the volume on this one because, of course, there's no not a lot of music here. So surely most of you have probably played this one. Who's finished it? Right, so we have a stone. We put the stone on the floor, which keeps the... Uh, elevator in position. Uh, press down and enter. Okay. I did do a long play of this. It was a long time ago, though. Yeah, Disco Cheese and Onion. There was Prawn Cocktail. And yes, this sort of vinegar. There's so much... F the the flavour. There's so much... A lot of flavour in those. Right, pick up the teleport. Right, okay. Um, I think the DOS version has 60 minutes and 12 levels. Oh, really? Wow. Quite some difference then. Do you know what? I, I, <laughs> once, uh, there was a person I used to work with, and he said that to me. Jamie, have you ever heard of Hedgehog Flavor Chris? I thought he was pulling my leg. I thought, what? Really? There's no such thing as Hedgehog Flavor Chris. He said, there is. I said, there can't be. What does it taste like? And, yeah, of course, back then we didn't have Google. We couldn't check that sort of thing. But yeah, apparently, yes, he was true all this time. There is such thing as hedgehog flavoured crisps. But of course, I've never seen them with my own two eyes. I've never tasted them. But I am going to save here. Yeah. <sighs> and speaking of hedgehogs, I know it's random, I know. 
I saw a hedgehog in my garden the other day. The first ever time I've seen one since moving in here, in my garden. And, uh, yeah, I called him Sonic. Amazingly, though, Jasper didn't see him, which I'm quite surprised he didn't see him. He's making enough noise rushing through the bushes. Jasper, what are you doing? Um, yeah, amazingly, don't tend to see very many. Right, there we go. <laughs> we do! No, we don't. We don't, really. We don't. That's not something to be proud of. I'm definitely not proud of that. However, I've been quite good recently. Didn't burn one today. They're so much more edible if you don't burn them to a crisp. Um. Right. Okay, so we've got to try and find credits. And, of course, return... Jasper, Jasper's here. Jasper's here. I'm going to get you. Look, look. <coughs> Say hello to the viewers. <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> it, I, I, actually, that actually didn't sound like hello. See, he's a genius. That was perfect. There you go. He can speak. Well, we know he can speak, but yeah. That was definitely a hello right there. I'll give you a treat for that. That was brilliant. Right, okay, so we have to go find the credits. <laughs> Do you know, when I come home from work, he's so chatty. Uh, my mum's cats must take note. You know, this is what Jasper does. This is what your cats must do. They come and see you. They want to be with you. They sit on your lap. They meow, they purr. My mum's cats don't do that. Not to me, anyway. They just run a mile. Uh, right. Gun. Hmm. Is the latency better today? Because what I did today... With an hour to spare, I restarted the router. And I was hoping that was going to improve the latency. I don't know if it is. I'm not sure. Is it lagging? <sighs> well, I'm quite surprised it's lasted this long, I have to admit. But yeah, it's it's been a bit of a problem recently. Seems okay. It was lagging, was it? Was I like that? Well, there's so much going on down here. There's, there's My router is there. And it's, just, it's cables. Well, technically there was when it was in there as well. But now it's just more than I can find space. I mean, yes, they're underneath there, which is where I want them to be. But I need to get myself some sort of cable tidy system. But yeah, I actually exchanged my six plug adapter to an eight plug adapter, which of course all four. Every single one of them is already full. There's some serious plugs. Right. Blurry now. Am I blurry? It's a mystery, isn't it? Absolute mystery. Right, stone. Pick up a stone. A blurry stone in this case. I f fived and now stream is two forty. That is weird, isn't it? I'm all pixelated. It could be. It could be my router. It could well be. Let's have a look. You might hear an echo. 32 likes, 32 viewers. Thank you. Appreciate that. Looks alright on my phone. Looks alright. Stream is good now. Just has its moments. I suppose we all do in our ways. I have my moments. <laughs> right, so we've got to try and, I think it's 500 credits. It's a key. You get a lot of those in this game. It broke down, did it? That is not a boom boom pow moment. That is not. Right. 1080p for me, for you now. Ah! All sharp now. Whoa! Jamie, all sharp now, am I? Yeah. Not many people get up from that. Right, around here is credits. So this is the normal difficulty, which of course has more enemies than you have got in the easy mode. <laughs> no, he's probably, I think he's in the window. Yeah, the problem is, which of course the front door is not open, the back door is. Press F1. Shield. I think it's maximum of three. Yeah. 
Jasper! Where's he gone? Right. Problem what? Lagging again? Oh. Buffering? Robert Cunningham, good to see you. Hmm. I don't know. I really don't know what to do about that. That's a mystery. Laggy baggy. Laggy baggy. Refresh works. Uh, good. What's good for 30 seconds after F5, then back to blur? YouTube issued a slowdown reset by bit rate to 144p. That's bizarre, isn't it? Looks all right on my phone. Um. Right, Jasper, what you done, mate? Yeah, I've got a buffering situation going on here. Hold on. Yeah, me and this router are not getting on. Not getting on at the moment. What I want, I basically, I want a new, I want a new router. I just, need, I need one. You ring them up and they're like, we'll do this and try this. No, I don't want to keep doing this and doing that. I want a new router. I think I deserve a new router. <laughs> no, it's not his fault. Right. Jasper! What do you like at fixing routers? Um, 460, like a good old... Trinitron. Uh, static electricity from Cat. Well, that's an issue which has been addressed now because, yes, where the PC was before, before paused the stream. I like what you've done there. Laggy City. Um, I don't quite know what to do here. What are we doing here? How are we doing here? I've got ex I've got an excellent connection here. Excellent connection. Um, I've got too many things open. Let's shut a few things down. Let's shut that down. Th thanks to Amiga. Thank you for the mention on Discord. Shut that down. I can't really shut anything down. It's going to shut too. F oh, can't we really do that? Can't shut that down. Yeah, I've got um, 36 viewers. Chat rate of six. Views 182. Average view duration 19. 30, now 20, but yeah, it's got excellent connection. It's annoying, isn't it? Could be the weather. All right. Phone's not buffering anymore. Um, more buffy here than a Sarah Michelle. Ga that was that Buffy the Vampire Slayer, was it? Oh my lord. Yeah, I have to admit, I am not surprised. It hasn't been performing overly well recently. I have to admit. I mean, it's not a fast paced game. You can't blame the game. It's not that. If it was high definition, yes, I probably could have understood it. <laughs> He's meowing. Hang on, I'm gonna let you in. Out. Get that right in a minute. The wounded man. Help me, young man. I've been attacked by mutants. Uh, and I can't walk. Uh, find my teleporter. Need urgent medical assistance. Lucky for you, I've got it on my position. So, let's find it. Gonna use it. Teleporter. And some of that. Hang on, mate, Jasper. Thanks to you, just saved your life. I haven't saved a stream issue though. Yeah, that's a good point actually, uh, Josh. Yeah, there was a few that happened last year. And uh, once weekend, it literally happened just after my stream had finished. YouTube completely utterly crashed. And a lot of people were saying that MJG killed the internet. And uh, it did feel like that, I have to admit. But yeah, maybe it's just YouTube, it could well be. Because it's saying excellent connection here. Um, so it could be something like that. But it is also a nuisance from a uh, content creator point of view. Hello! I thought you wanted to be here today. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello to Tom. Hello to King Arthur. Hello to King. 
You, I can't remember where you were going. Where were you going? You was going out? Where were you going to do? I can't remember. I know Mr. Spud is seeing a band. He's seeing Guns N' Roses. What was King Arthur doing? So again, memory of a goldfish. It was Friends, wasn't it? You've seen Friends, wasn't it? Can't seem to tag people on your iPad. Well, I'm having a bit of issues with YouTube at the moment of time. Yeah, it's a mystery. Indeed, yes, he's seen Guns N' Roses his third time. Enough of this pause for, t for thought. Is it still happening, is it? Not played this game in years. Blew me away when it first released. Yeah, I, I think it was actually the Mega Drive I played first. One of my friends had it. And it wasn't long after that we had the demo on the Mega. Which, of course, was this whole entire level. It was a long level. Um, but yeah, I've finished it a few times. But maybe in the future I'll do another one, but on the normal difficulty. And try and make it a bit better than the first one. Um... Yes, we've got the card now, haven't we? Um, <laughs> you're not a fan of Guns N' Roses? Oh, right, okay. Well, I have to admit, I prefer Iron Maiden. I always have done. Um, they were quite, they were sort of competing, weren't they, I suppose? A bit like uh, C64 and Spectrum and Amstrad and that sort of thing. But yeah, um, Tire ST and Mega. But yeah, Guns N' Roses and Iron Maiden were sort of competing with each other. But yeah, I was I was more into Iron Maiden, a lot more. But amazingly, to this day, even though I've been a big, big Iron Maiden fan since about the age of five, I've never actually seen them. But he was saying the tickets for this particular gig is extremely expensive. And he bought it about two and a half years ago. Again, lockdown caused an issue with that. Uh, but it didn't cancel, so I'm glad he's still been able to go. So, good for Mr. Spud. Right, what do we have here? Hollow cube. Have I missed something here? Oh my lord, I didn't pick anything up, did I? I got a funny feeling I didn't pick up what she left. Have I missed a bit? I think I've messed this up. Right, I'm gonna have to go with some back see if it's backtracking. I wasn't into the Beatles, no. Um, no, I didn't get into those. Yeah, we'll move on a moment. Yeah, I've made a mistake here. I don't know how old they are. I have to admit, I didn't actually realise it was still going. I had no idea. No idea. <laughs> Does he really? I mean, same as Iron Maiden. I mean, I mean, they've been going for years, haven't they? Right. If I have forgotten it, we'll get it and go back. If I have forgotten it, or I've missed something else completely, nothing different, and lost the plot, then yeah, we'll move on. Not the first album, but they just seem lazy and in for the money. I suppose we all are on our ways. <laughs> a few people have said to me, are you going to miss this place when I leave? No. <laughs> no. Definitely not. Why would I? I'm going to a better place. A much better place. Better pay. Yeah, I think so. I don't know, actually. Yeah, there you go. Why does she leave on the floor? Hand to hand. I gave you it hand to hand. You should have given it to me hand to hand. Alright, let's go for a speed run now. Yeah, we all want money, don't we? Really. But hobbies is a hobby. It should be for fun, shouldn't it? And this is definitely a hobby. This is definitely for fun. Take care, mate. Have a great weekend. Appreciate your kind comments today. As always, 
Appreciate it. Deep Purple? I don't have any Deep Purple albums. <laughs> no. Take it easy, guys. That's Gamer. Have a great weekend. Why is the card on the floor? I have no ID. <laughs> were you a comedian? I think you were, weren't you? You definitely are. You ever thought about going on, to, on the stage? And if not, why not? SG Stargate. I remember watching Stargate back in the days. Again, I have not seen that for so many years. Right, so this should work now. Um, ID card. Yeah, apologies about that. Um, your favourite colour is teal. Right. Yeah, there's not been a lot of action recently, is there? Again, animation is superb. Right, down we go. Right. Now what you can also do, you can actually equip your gun when you're falling. Woo! Double KO! Have some of that. Yeah, the more you progress in the game, of course, getting a lot more action packed. Um, not, not quite as action packed in early levels. Right, we have arrived. Right, the old man. Okay. So, to get the new Washington, you have to jump into the hall. We're talking about holes again, Mr. Spears House. Uh, but you, if you, I were you, I'd use the anti gravity belt. Yes, only four will jump down there without an anti G belt. Where can I find one? Now, you can sell one for 500 credits. What just happened? I just have one on my session. Let me go. Look, um, I got six hundred. So there we go. I'm one hundred pounds better off. So there is your five hundred credits. Get the new Washington. You have to. You told me that once before. Yes, you've told me that. There you go. Job well done. Even though a bit of a boo boo on the way, but bon voyage, young man. We take a big leap of faith. See, that's what the old. That's what the other person should have done. Just get, Put it in the hand. Don't put it on the floor. Here you go. It's like that, isn't it? Oh, I'll pick it up, shall I? Yeah. Right. Bon voyage. There you go. Sorry that took so long. Again, on the 1200, that runs very, very fast. Where is the money? One of the most, uh, most asked questions. Yeah. Right, so just last, just this little bit, and then we'll go on another game. What do we see next? Oh, it's Daenerys, wasn't it? Or well, Catechist, yes, that was next, wasn't it? Now, when we got here, the older days, of course, you have this super duper jump, and we just couldn't do it. We just kept going like that, fall into our death multiple times. Um, but yes, it's difficult to achieve it. But once you've mastered it, then it's an absolute breeze. But yes, we died so many times. We had jumping from there to there and falling flat on the floor. Easily done. But it's diagonal up back. But that is one hell of a jump. But yes, it's easy when you know how. But we didn't have a manual back in the day. Because again, one of my brother's friends copied it. No, actually, that was not technically true. We got it from a boot fair. Or I bought it from a boot fair. All right. Unfortunately, we don't have the force field yet. If I had the force field, then this would be a breeze. There we go. I hit you right on the chin. Your chinny chin chin. That'd be interesting, yeah, because you do use keyboards. So yes, that probably would be... Yeah, probably a lot of keys. A hell of a lot of keys. Ian. Thanks, Conrad. Those cops would have had my hide. Well, I suppose you don't remember your old pal Ian. Take a seat and we'll fix that shortly. We'll make this the last bit for this part of the video. We'll stream in this case. Slowly, the rays from the regenerator re implant the memories in Conrad's brain. Let's see how well I read this today. The end of year theses. theses. 
Glosses which measure the molecular density. Ian Rush, I remember Ian Rush, yes. Individuals who molecular density and a thousand times more. Yeah, he played for Leeds, Liverpool, in fact, it was the other way round. And then Newcastle United. Ah, but this music, for some reason, I mean, it's running very slow. I don't know why. It should not be this slow. This is like on the 500, but it's not. It's on the 1200. Yeah, I bought this game for the boot fair. But I don't have a box version, but I know Andrew DeBlind does. I'm sure other people do as well. Oh, Grimsby, there we are. Congratulations to Grimsby Town. I don't follow football, but I'm glad that your team has gone up. That's fantastic. Yeah, I don't think Ian Rush went any further than that. I think Newcastle was his last one. I don't think he didn't do very well, though. He didn't score many goals. And if you've got a goal scorer that's not scoring many goals, then there's something wrong there. But they were doing appallingly bad as a whole. That was a disastrous league. Blame Kenny Dalglish. He sold all the good players and bought poo. Not literally. Right, we're going to go on to another game now. We're going to go for some shoot 'em up action. Uh, we're going to go for some Denaris or Catechist, whichever way you want to look at it. We're going to go for some Catechist. Let's see how we do today. Hopefully better than what I did in Agony. That was an atrocious display. Uh, back in the league. Was it League One now, was it? Was it Championship? I have to admit, I'm a bit... I don't quite understand it now. I remember back in the days, it was Division One, Division Two, Division Three, and Conference. Now it's Championship. So is 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 it Championship, Division One, Division Two, Division Three, or is it Championship, Division Two? I don't know. I really don't know. Um... Right, so, again, I don't have a box version of this, but again, I think Andrew DeBlind does. But again, it's on my list of ones I would like to get. I've had got more questions to ask, but unfortunately I'm not playing the right game to ask you that specific question. <laughs> well, cats do kiss, don't they? I don't know why they keep running away from each other. I don't know why. Dogs, you know, they sniff them left, right and centre, but cats are... <laughs> no, no. However, again, touch wood, Jasper has been a good boy. He's not got into any fights that I'm aware of. I am touching wood. I'll press it again just to be sure. He's been a good boy. And I think he's probably going out the back now. I think he's given up. Um, Denaris. Right, Denaris 2 disc. Right. Hello, Daniel. Good to see you. Rush, Jay, uh, Rush played for Juventus. Oh, did he? That doesn't sound right. I mean, that's quite a jump from Newcastle to Juventus. Or Juventus, I used to say in other days. Really? It can't have scored many goals for them. That must have been it for him, then. Daniel Jackson. I don't know who Daniel Jackson is. Do you like hold? Yes, I, I, I do prefer garbage to hold. Yes. But like I say, I've got two albums. One of them is Greatest Hits from Garbage. One whole album. Not cheap. No, definitely not cheap. Premiership, Championship, Division 2, non-league, I think. That makes sense. I'm not much of a footy fan, to be fair. I'm not. I used to, It's crazy, because I used to be. I was a huge fan of football. Loved it. All of a sudden, I just went... No. No. No more. Not interested. But, sense of world of soccer. Love it. Wembley International Soccer. Love it. Kickoff. Love it. Love playing those games. On the places in one, places in two. This is football. Champions League. Even occasional FIFA. Love it. But football? No. No. Not my thing. Not anymore. Crazy really thinking about it like that. But sometimes that's how it goes. Right, this is also going to be difficult to do because again it's not in sh shot. Right. Unfortunately, it's too late. Oh, oh, right, okay. I've got that totally wrong with him. Liverpool, Juventus, Liverpool, then Leeds, then... Oh, right. I apologise. If you're not sure, Jamie, ask a football fan. Yes, you'll get the answer. But no, no, again, I was a football fan. Unfortunately, you can't see the bottom right corner of the screen, but I don't think you can pause this. You can pause this. It's amazing what happens when you press the P button, Jamie. 
How does it squish it too much? Um, okay. P. Right, so okay, who has played this? Which version do you prefer? How far have you got without cheats? I have got level f 5. But again, like Agony, not many level. Again, it's another 6 or 7. I think it might be 6, I think about it. But again, very, very hard time. Um, but this is done by um, Factor 5. Factor 5 are always also very generous with their extra lives. And this one, again, you can get quite a lot of lives from school. But again, you do lose all your weapons when you die. Um, but again, I think it's very good. Of course, it's not as good as season 4 version, but I still think it's a very good game. I mean, I don't shoot him up. No, say no more. I can't think of a shoot him up I don't like. I just like all of them. Yeah, no, I don't think there's a such thing as a, a shoot him up that's no good. That's before it all costs. That actually downgrades you. Panic is for life. Yeah. It's not as good as, a, as our type. It never will be. But it's got some very, very much like R type elements, of course. But it's not the force in this one, it is the satellites. But it pretty much does the same thing. The only thing you cannot do is you can't go on the back of your spaceship. Only on the front. And to detach it, you have to hold the far button down. Like that. I don't know why I did that. I didn't need to do that. There we go. I just didn't demonstrate it for you. But no in game music. Yee! Jamie! Oh, my lord, extremely R type, harder than Token 2, low. Yes. <sighs> Hope you're well, Daniel, by the way. Good to see you. R type is 35 years. It's crazy, isn't it? It came out in 1987 by Irem. Crazy, isn't it? But I love it, I love it, I love it. But yeah, this game is very much got to try and memorise the patterns. There's not many areas we are safe. There's not many at all. They move very fast. And yes, you can get additional speed. But they move too fast. But some games it's going to have to be. But no water fire. And again, it can be a bit of a, a pain for your fingers. Or your thumb in this case. But that's one of the problems with shooting marks. Some of them do have them, some of them do not have all the fire functions, abilities. But yeah, this one. No beam either. No beams. I'm very near death once again. I probably could put some music on actually. I have got some on here. Fun turn already. Right, so yeah, on this one you get the bit at the bottom first, not at the top. Bubbles, yeah, very much like Pang, yeah, absolutely so. Like Pang, deadly also. <sighs> My thumb is hurting already, this is not good. Well, it is good, it's fantastic, I love it. Fun dirt, I really. Well, well, JB, you're cutting this a little bit fine, would you say? Yeah, I've never done that really, I should do that. I should put R-type in the background. That'd be fantastic. Yeah, the bosses, yeah, they're very, very much different to other boss battles in shooting ups. They're, they're not, they're not overly big. But there are a lot of them on some levels. They're like forces in a way, like style of force. Of course, the force is indestructible. The spaceship is not. 
Woohoo! A good game, but it's no Delta. Delta is fantastic. Uh, I said that, Ryan. I assume he's alright. I haven't heard him for a while, but yeah, I'm assuming he's alright. Thank you for asking. Yeah, he's alright. What? 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 But yeah, again, they got poorly from the from the crew. Same as you. It's crazy, isn't it? Right, this is the level which has killed me the most times. Yes, yeah, good already. But this level, the problem with this one is you can't get your weapons back as quickly as you can in other levels. You don't tend to get satisfied very quickly on this one. So if you lose it, you've got to go pretty much the whole level without one. Cruising for a boozing! I haven't heard that for years, man! <laughs> years! I can't remember who it was. Someone my family. It might be my dad. I can't remember. Someone used to say that to me. I quite like that song. Of course, the satellite can block enemy bullets. Oh, he's got a laser. Go for it with a knife and butter. But we can get quite a lot of upgrades. It does take quite some time to really max it out though. Just don't get that. Whoa, well, school shooter, yeah. Yeah. I love it, mate. I, I could play shooting ups all day. I literally could. I literally could. If someone were to say to me, Jamie, think of a, a shoot em up you don't like, I, I probably couldn't answer that question. That is an unanswerable question. I can't think of a shoot em up that I don't like. They're not all great. There are some that are not so good. But they are. I, I love all shoot -ups. They're all fantastic. I just love blowing stuff up. What is robotic worm? What shoot -em ups do have these sort of bosses, don't they? Pidio has it. Woohoo! That doesn't have it. There you go. I'm happy with that. That's fantastic. Uh, good game, but it's no Delta. How far have you got in Delta? Yeah, I got that in your other days. That was on the disk drive. And yes, that was fantastic. Right, the four. On we go. It's weird that your satellite starts off detached. Actually, this is what I'm getting a bit tangled with. This is also very difficult. This one. Maybe this is the one I'm thinking of. <laughs> oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Well, you've got six lives. That's not a bad achievement. Yeah, I think this is the one I'm thinking of. Yeah. Don't get the satellite for quite some time. Yeah, it's a shame there's no mu Shame there's no music. That's a shame. I'm using the zipstick. The good old zipstick. The best joystick ever. I've got six of them. Yeah, I have. I've only managed to break one. And I was playing tokens on the stream a long time ago. It snapped inside. And I haven't really tried fixing that one. Maybe some epoxy might do it, I don't know. But yeah, that's a, you know. You would have thought it'd be in a game that, you know, like a waggling joystick sort of game, but no, it wasn't. It wasn't, it wasn't far from that. But yeah, if I see one at decent price, it looks good, I'll buy another one. This one. Oh, 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 it's a <sighs> <sighs> ha! Yeah, what sort of joysticks do you use? 
Oh, you evil thing. It's always time for an R9 clone. Yes. I'll type clone. Yes. Yeah, if it's an R-type clone or an R-type game, I'm there. I'm so there. Well, I would like to be there, there. Because I think it'd be quite terrifying to be in this in real life. All these things jumping at you, shot at you, fast speeds. Oof. But again, even the weapons are oh, very similar to our type. The reflecting laser. Um, is the chat working? I love you. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yes, that's the bit that keeps getting me. Woo! There we go. All right. This up now. Woo! Oh my god. Right. Apologies about the sound effects. <laughs> um, I'm not in pain, I promise. I just love playing these games. This goes down to the wire. It's the Walker's Games way. Ah! My lord! Straight me! Did you know there's a train station right up. No, I didn't. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. No, I didn't actually. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. I'll... I don't know. I've never actually been to Blackpool. Never ever been there. It's crazy it sounds. I prefer the Maverick, yeah? The Maverick 1M that was Amiga. It's just got the PlayStation 5. Oh, really? See, ugh, playing this with a controller is not my idea of fun. Uh, but, like I say, that controller on the Mini was super. And, like I say, early on today, that takes some doing for me to approve of a control pad. No, I wasn't poorly. I wasn't unwell. I was fully well. But that was a good... Uh, that was a good one. Ha! It was, a, it, was a good, it was a good one. It was a good one. It still is. But I don't use it... I don't use it much. I don't use it much. Apologies anyone that's listening to this on the headphone. Right, again, not a big Bob boss battle. But we are slow pace. But... Please get some other way. Three lives, I'm fairly happy with that. <laughs> You're still here, mate. F uh, C9 Shucks. Good to see you. Where are you from, by the way? Where are you from? Do you work? You normally work this time of this time of night. <gasps> do you? Do you do? Do you? Yes. You commented on Discord, didn't you? I don't know what it is? I don't know what it is. Woohoo! I'm happy with that! Jamie, did you know there's free money trees? Is there really? I like money trees, I've never seen one before. Let's go up to a tree and you know, have that, have 50 quid, have some of that. Buy some games with that at a venue, like an expo with that. Um, you cramped your hand on the zip stick. Whoa! On the zip stick, did you? No, I don't tend to hurt myself. I mean, no, I don't. Um, the only time I hurt myself was on the Wii, actually. I was playing um, Wii Sports. And I've said this before, I was playing bowling. And of course, you've got to do the bowling action. And as I bowled the ball, I punched the ceiling. And yes, that hurt. Because it wasn't a particularly high ceiling. And I'm quite a tall man. And, uh, yeah, that didn't hurt, actually. It was gone. It didn't get a strike. It would be nice if it did get a strike. The pain would be a no, well earned thing. So I punched it, hurt myself, and I didn't get a strike. I don't get a spare. People went down the gully. Right, now this is what I wanted to show you. If you haven't seen it before, if you've played R Type, which I'm sure most of you probably have, this is very much like R Type. Level 3 of R Type, to be precise. Um. 
again. Okay, again, we're doing it the hard way. We're using weapons. Yeah, that was quite loud, I apologize. <laughs> I can't help it. I get, I, get, I get so into these games, you know what I mean? Also, if anyone watched my vlog, by the way, I really do appreciate that. Sometimes the random ideas do, do well. Better than some of my long plays. Not this, no! Not this time! Not this time! No, 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 I'm sure Lucas Rainford is, he's not here yet. Hope he's well. He's probably going as well, he's probably going to get his ticket. Yeah, I've never actually been to Blackpool at all. Right. Just trying to attempt to... <laughs> Mate, I like your style. I'm just trying to twist my arm, which I have to admit doesn't take a long doing, I have to admit. When is it again? October. Well if the money's there. But you know, it's not all about it's not all about buying, you know, it, sometimes it's just nice to go there. It's not about the buying. It's a bonus, but it's, it's just it's getting out, it's seeing people, interacting with people, seeing the amazing machines with your own two eyes. It's not all about the buying, it's a bonus, that's all it is. Oh. See, this is where you want a force on the back. This is going to be a tough ride. Ox 1, 2, gotcha. Oh, it's very, very hard time, isn't it? Level three. I mean... Hold on. When it comes to hard type games, you always do get one particular level where they have a big, big spaceship like this. Um, level three on R-Type one. Level three on R-Type two. Level... Three on R-Type Final, level three, I'll type Delta. <sighs> um, yeah. And same here as well. No. I'm back at the start! Are you kidding me? I'm back at the start. No checkpoints. Oh, you meanie. I don't believe it. Um, I'm from just outside London. Yeah, I work in the studio, so absolutely... Oh, really? That's cool. Well, you're not too far away from me, then. I've been to London for a while. I'll have to go back. Bowling? I've not been bowling for a year either. Well, no, no, actually, no. I went last year. Actually. I've won, actually. Yeah, 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 look at me. Never been to one, really? Now that surprised it, but they're in the same, you've got all the arcades at home, haven't you? Should we go to the arcade club? No, I've got them in my house. Let's go to my the grand stairs in my basement. There you go. Yes, I'm rather jealous of that. But I didn't realise this one has no checkpoints. I've been saying that, R type f level 3 of R type didn't either. I miss going to USA as well. For a long time I've been there. 
Last time I went there, I was in year nine at school. Which was quite some time ago. Oh, you meanie. Oh, you meanie. You little meanie. Is that it? My life. Only Amiga makes it possible. Right, it's all down to this one now. Again, it's a game I love the long play in the future, but I've got to master it first. It's all about practice, practice, practice. It sounds good. Yeah, you bought, uh, you had another arcade turn up the other day, didn't you? Yeah. Again. Get rid of these early. Get a cheap shot they tend to do. Even explosions, yeah, yeah, very much, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Twenty-seven watch it. I don't know where they're going to fire. They're going to fire any time. Trouble is, we are very slow. Ooh. Take it easy, Mark. Have a great weekend. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, no, thanks for tuning in, Jamie Knight All. Have a great, have a good one. Are you working tomorrow? You probably are, aren't you? Oh, I'm firing. There's nothing here to fire at. Oh, that. You take a lot of shooting! Lord! Probably get a better signal than that than I do with my router. Oh, poo! Never mind. Loads of arcades and people machines, plus all the vintage home computers to try out. It's music to my ears. Um, only joking, would love to meet you guys at a cool arcade and game expo. Uh, yeah, work in the studio as usual, work late. Ooh, not all you. Where's the high school table? High school Oh, there. I didn't know you do that. Yeah. It's buffering again. Yes! Top score! Top of the pile. Right, Jamie's still got a lot of games to get through. Um, I'm gonna, do you know what? I'm gonna play some Space Taxi, which I put on a floppy disk. Let's mellow it down a little bit. Now, again, mm, this game is quite quiet, which is why we're gonna have some music. Uh, Jasper, where are you? Uh, we've still got Dragonfire to play, Ninja Remix to play, and that's it. But I'm going to restart. Storm. I guess you're not talking about the X-Men. Um, yeah, we've had quite a lot recently. But then again, during the summer, it's normal. It's absolutely normal here in the UK. Right, so, I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to go get yourself a drink. Oh, my knee. Space Taxi Cock Classic. I love it. I do like it. I do like it. Oh, my goodness me.
Porsche should be. You got a Porsche? Oh my god, you are loaded. I like Porsches. The closest I can get to driving a Porsche is on the PlayStation 1 with Porsche Challenge. Is he still awake? Is he? No, he can't be. He's probably really, really tucked up in bed now, I reckon. Right, okay, we'll go for a question. Um, now, I think this game would be fantastic if you could create your own levels. That would be fantastic, I think. So, next question. What games would you like to have the option of creating levels? Right, so we're going to go for... We'll go, for, we'll go too easy at the start. We'll go for novice. No, we won't. We'll go for... Go for novice levels. Right, um. So, hopefully, this will work. Okay. But yeah, a very, very quiet game. Um. It rained so much today that my pool has gone. F you got a pool as well? My lord, you've got so much money. So much space. Um. Has gone from being a bit low to very high. Yeah, that'd be good to make a bit dangerous level. That'd be good. And super fun. Good shout. I think this would be brilliant. If you can make your own levels of this, I think that would be superb. Again, speech, like the season 4, is absolutely superb. So of course, I'm sure most of you have played this game at some point, but this is, of course, number 3. Pick up the pa pa passengers and take them to where they want to go. Do it in the quickest time, earn the most money. Don't die. But again, the CG4 version is fantastic, and this is also very good. Uh, so, we've got to take this guy to... Platform 3. Do it in the quickest time, again, but this time we have fuel gauges. Chaos Engine? There was one, wasn't there? There was a... It was like a Doom sort of clone, wasn't there? They sort of did it in a sort of like a first person perspective of, of it. Which I don't know if it actually got finished, or it was just a one off level, I don't know. Whether the me was capable of doing it, I don't know, it could have been PC. But again, it was a nice idea. Um, but again, it's, just, it's such a simple idea. I mean, it's just, it's just a really good game, I do like it. Uh, but yeah, Rick Dangerous is fantastic, and many, many people prefer the first one over the second. I think both are very good, but both of them are incredibly brutal. But I haven't had a decent go of them for quite some time, but I've never finished any of the Rick Dangerouses. I think the first one, I guess, four levels. Right, right, he wants to go to number three. So you put your wheels up. I don't know if you have wheels, it's legs, isn't it? You run up, I suppose. Uh, but yes, your energy... Say. Drains rather quickly. Once you've done the required quantity you require, then the top opens up and take you on to the next level. Super Sprint, yeah, that'd be good as well, wouldn't that? I have got that on the Amiga, but for some reason, like Rygar, it keeps crashing. I don't know why. I think it's like every fourth or fifth level, it just keeps crashing. And Rygar keeps crashing uh, level. Nine, I think it is. It's a shame. It's a fantastic game. You're on the re-release, yeah. I know SQ One has made levels on Lemmings before, and that again would be fantastic. I'll try that. But I've never really sort of done anything like that. Um, I have got on the PlayStation One. I've got Buster Move Four, which is definitely better than Buster Move. Three and that one you get to make your own level. It's not technically on the same league, but there's something about creating your own levels. And I've also got on the PlayStation One. I've got V Rally Two, I think it is. You can make your own tracks on that. And <laughs> one one time I made this unbelievably steep road, and I put a great big massive jump on the end of it. Oh my goodness, mate! Um, so that was superb. I flew through the air like Back to the Future 2. It was great. 
Um, do you know where next stream is going to poo? Do you know where next stream's going to be? Right, uh, I will have to do an announcement at some point. But basically, yes, when I start my new job on the 18th of July, I think it's going to be early. So, it's going to be back-to-back -back early. So, it's going to be two back-to-back -back streams. Because, of course, I like to stream on the early shift and the early shift only. So, when I adapt to the change, it's going to be back-to-back -back streams. And then it's going to go back to how it was, if that makes sense. So yeah, it'll be two weeks today, and then a week again after that, if that makes sense. And yes, I will do some different systems. I've got a few ideas in my mind. Some things I've not streamed before, I might need to give those a try at some point. So you're having two streams back to back, allow me to make a few changes. So anyway, who has played this? Again, probably most of you have played the CC4 version, which I would like to own as a physical version, but you, again, it's a really, really, really expensive game. And there's not many games I've bought on the CC4 that were ridiculously priced. That one is a really expensive one. I think Robert Gray did safety quite some time ago. It's one of the most expensive ones to own as a physical version. Um, so yeah, to your question, <laughs> yes. Well, I'm not playing very well here, is it? That's one way to get way to be. Uh, yes, you should be able to hear the music. I think there's one you're hearing now should be the music for the game itself. Uh, and I'll put a few more as well, because again, the music... You don't have any in-game music, it's a very quiet game. Again, save the floor. Yes, this is in the background, yes. <laughs> yes. But again, I can't hear it, only you can. All I can hear is pad one, please. Pad two, please. Thank you. Sam's Junior is fantastic, yeah, and I believe that is also now on the NES, is that correct? I have a box version of that. Not on the NES, we'll see before. Difficult game though, but again, I think it's a very, very long game too. Hello to Bonsai AC! Hello, buddy. One for David Jensen there. He loves his bonsai trees. Too, That's, uh, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. This is Crazy Taxi 3 on the Amiga 1200. Alright. Rules are simple. Pick up the passengers, take them on the go, and don't make contact with the surface. Earn money, get to the exit door, which opens up after you've taken a few quiet quantities of the location without dying. But also, keep an eye on your full gauge. And this, I think, is four players. It can be up to a maximum of four. And Vatamiga's here. Hello, Vatamiga. Welcome to the stream, my good friends. There we go. How you doing, Vatamiga? Welcome. When's your next stream going to be? And Pickaboo, I see you! Hello to Nepshit! Hello to France! Hello, everybody! Uh, ugh. Ah! How are you? <laughs> How are you doing? I love the fact that everyone has their own sayings. And yes, Pickaboo, I see you! It's definitely you. Every time I see those words, I automatically think of Nepshit. Well, mine is many, isn't there? He might do, I don't know. He hasn't done an announcement. But you never know what he could do. He might do. You love your media music. That's a media music stream. Um, how are you Portugal, of course, yeah. Never ever been to Portugal before. Nice to go abroad one day. It's been a long time. Last time I went abroad, I was hungry, but that wasn't a proper holiday of working. Yes, it was technically a break, but it's not a proper proper break, is it? You want to go somewhere where you haven't got to work. You want to go on a holiday and be working, yeah. Right, number three. What's the weather like in France at the moment of time? In fact, I don't even know what time it is at the moment of time. Well, 
10 to 11, 10 to 12 for some of you. It's not a <laughs> No, it's in England. <laughs> um. I must give myself a passport. I see what you've done there. I know what you're, <laughs> I know what you're doing. Twisting that arm just a little bit more. Hello to Opto Epicet. Good to see you. Fuel game, Jamie. Piggy in the moment time. How are you? We're doing many levels. Let's do a few. Got a few more games to play. Uh, Dragon. Ooh, fighter. Would I bought for a boot fair? Don't have a box though. Uh, and. Ninja Remix. Again, it's brutal. Now, I think your fuel gauge just fill up before the next stage. <clears throat> Yeah, it's a really cool game. I like it. It's really good. You've been insane for that for the last ten years, Jamie. You need to get passports. I have. Well, not technically ten years. In five years. <laughs> five years. Borders Games is five years old. But I didn't have a passport. I did. Didn't use it very much though. Oh, it doesn't replenish. Ooh. Well, hopefully now we're getting more money. It should be a breeze get my passport. I mean, I did get the form. I got as far as getting the form. I didn't think it was much more than that. I didn't have the old Wonga at the time. It's about like £80, isn't it? Something like that. Thank you. So what's the last game that people have bought? What game have you been playing recently? Yeah, what have you been, what have you been buying recently? I've not gone crazy, but there are a few. I have got a pickup video I've got to upload soon. And a long play, which I need to upload soon as well. Five stars there. Gold stars. I think the CG4 version has a lot more... I mean, a lot, a lot of these ones at the early points are quite similar. CG4, you tend to have a lot more hazards at the early stages. Hello, it's much more hello, James. How you been? How you doing? Here's the floor. Which is deducted from your score, I believe. Not a lot, though. It's limited. Yeah, I've got some background music going for you, because, yeah, this is a very, very quiet game. So I don't know what one you're listening to at the moment of time, but I know what's on the list. Yeah, how you, uh, how you been? Have you got yourself a better laptop yet? I have to admit, I'm thinking about getting another laptop. But what I, I would like to get a laptop, which Mr. Moore said is a good idea. Um, because I miss using the computer in the living room. So, I'm going to try and buy a laptop to sort of do some work from in there, rather than spend all my time in here. A bit of editing. Of course, laptops are easier to move around. Number two, we've got enough fuel. What do we have? We have a we have fuel, we have gas. Got a new job as well, a new PC. It's upgraded to a PC. Me too. Yeah, I had a gaming laptop, I still got it, it was brilliant at the start, but it just got really, really, really slow, and I don't know why, it was a very expensive laptop. Uh, but amazing subscriber, Mr. Josh Chorzen, donated this amazing machine, and uh, yeah, I had a few problems at the start, but I wasn't really good with change. But it's so much better than that gaming laptop, and uh, I just think now, have the PC in here for the streams and long plays, and then have the laptop in there, so I can spend a little bit more time in there. A much better way of doing it. But congratulations on a new job. I've got a new job as well. I started in two weeks' time. 
It's a job I used to do back in, well, about 12 years ago. Is it not? It's not, is it? You are correct. You are absolutely correct. Well spotted that man, yes. what I'm doing now. Right, so of course now we have more platforms. We have hazards. Right, so we'll avoid... Wait, wait. Did actually realise someone's already on board? Yes, you realise. So we'll avoid the moving lines. Yes, I love... I, I'm not actually admit, I've not played that game very much, but I do like the music to it. Got a stream deck, which I would also like to buy at some point, but again, not cheap. But you've got one, yeah? Um, again, once more money comes into my possession, then yes, hopefully the things I would like to get will be a lot more easier to afford. Um, been on the waiting list for 15 days, short of one year. Really? Maybe get a bit of a tangle with sort of swing decks that I'm thinking of. Maybe. What's the make of it? Mega sound, it's, it is. It's absolutely outstanding. And, it's, and the C64 as well. I do love the C64 music. The synth is fantastic. The music on the Mega is fantastic. Again, it's very rare to get a bad song. And again, they're not all good. There are some bad ones. But the majority of it is fantastic. Again, I... I so many times I just go onto YouTube, just, just type in Mega Music Compilations, play it in the background, it's, it's fantastic to edit, it's two, it's fantastic to chill to, it's just fantastic. Just great background music, you can't go wrong. Hello to Robert Gray, hello everybody. Uh, sorry I've been late. I had, had to go to my daughter's play. Oh really, how did it go? And no worries, Mr. Robert Gray. How are you? How's the family? How did the play go? What was the play called? Thank you. Might have played this one before, the Amiga. This is Crazy Taxi 3. I'm running low on fuel again. This looks like a shoe, doesn't it? A green shoe. Put Mega CD soundtracks in the background, like Wolf Child. I've got Wolf Child on the Mega, yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Never finished it though. Right, okay. Okay, what time is it? 11 o'clock. Oh, I was hoping to get a little bit further than that. I don't know, I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. Maybe it landed too hard. No idea! I can't answer that. I actually don't know. I landed... To f Maybe I wasn't supposed to land there. I don't know. I need to be careful next time I refill my car. My car could explode. Um, landing gears... Yeah, I don't know. Like I say, I was not paying attention. I really wasn't. <laughs> Why, Dragon Fighter? Why not? Uh, again, I do like it. I do like this game. But it's a difficult one. But again, I'm making good progress. Um, now this is a combination of a strategy and a shooter, but once again, dead. Yeah, exploded. Um, you can't park here. Well, no, you can't. That was the proof. 34 people watching. Um... That already happened, didn't it? Someone said you're exhaust. Yeah. I I've, I've actually have worked in a place where we have to deal with exhaust, and they are an absolute pain to move around. I don't know how my back survived that job. I was there for seven years. Batteries, discs, pads, exhausts, catalytic converters, radiators. Basically, it was a car warehouse, dealership sort of place. And yeah, I was lugging these... Trouble is, I was dealing with the stock. And exhaust is, is just a pain to do it to work with. They really are. And of course, where we stored them is upstairs. So I don't know how I didn't do my backing work in that place. But yeah, they're very grubby as well. 
Yeah, right, okay. Is the music still playing? Could well be. Um, should be now. Exhaust is exhausting. That job was exhausting. But hopefully, this new job, which again, like I say, I have worked there before, is going to be so much better. Even the supervisor on the other shift, the other day, said to me, "You know, I think, you, I think you've done it. I think you, you're leaving at the right time. You know, I think you're not, not going to be." It's the right thing to do, I think. I'm like, well, really? Even the super is just, just saying to go. <laughs> I am going. Maybe there's changes I'm not aware of what's about to happen. I don't know. But there are so many changes going on, and I'm not a fan of change. But yeah, it's just the way you're treated. I'm not, not a fan of it. Enough is enough. And again, as I said before, if you're not happy with your job, and I'm not, you know, it's affecting my home life. I don't like going there. I dread it every single day. And it's been ruining my weekends. It's always on my mind. You know, am I going to get told off on Monday? Have I done this wrong? Have I done that wrong? So it, it's been very difficult to try and chill. Because I'm always thinking, you know, negative thoughts in my head. So if you're in that situation, you have to do something about it. You've got to be happy with where you're working. You've got to try and go there with a smile. Not dread to go there. But of course, the money is a bonus. So anyway, this in a way is sort of technically a game show, in a way. You earn money based on how fast you go, how many enemies you kill. But also, it's got a little bit of a moonstone to it because you can also gamble. Which again, like moonstone, you have dice. So it's basically, yeah, a way of earning digital money or losing digital money. But I have shown this once before. Now, there are so many bars at the bottom of the screen. The top bar is your beam. Which again, like our side, the hold the fire button down and probably hold it down to be the beam. It's not a huge beam. The one below that is your energy bar. The one below that, the hammer, I'm not quite sure what its purpose is. But the bottom right corner of the screen, you have two bars. Now, the percentage bar is how far you are away from the exit, I think, or how many you've killed, something like that. The one on the left. You've got to try and shoot that quiet quantity of enemies. And once you've done that, again, you'll fill up the bar. And if you fill both those bars, and you've done it in a quick time, you'll earn more money. I think that is right. So yes, it's not all guns blazing. If you do it quickly, get a good kill rate, you get more money. That was sort of average, that was sort of in the middle. So you can use that to either buy additional skills or gamble. But also, that brings us to this question in a moment, um, because you've got to pay to go to other areas. But you can actually lose this game if you don't have enough money to move on to the next level. You can reach the end of the level, but if you don't have the money, you can't make your way to the next level, and you can actually have game over there. So you can actually lose by going skipped. But you've got to try and upgrade, but don't upgrade too much. And run all your money down. Some areas are quite pricey. Exactly, morale. And morale is terrible there. It really is. I mean, there are worse places to be. There are best places to be. But you've got to look after number one. And, you know, if you're not happy, if, it, if it's making you unhappy, and it is, then you've got to do something about it. However, I have been treated quite nicely the last few weeks. There's been no arguments, no telling off or anything like that. Because I suppose, you know, what can they do now? They can't do anything about it. I'm leaving. I've had it in my notes, so you know. What are they going to do now? They've been quite nice to me. Um, but like I say, they did offer to increase my wage to keep me, to keep me there, and I said no. No, no, no. I'm not doing it. Yeah, a bit like Panzer Dragon, yeah. A little bit. So that was a bit better, so you got more happy, happier face this time. 50 likes, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. The play was called For the Love of the House. It was really good. So really. Yes, you missed flashback. <laughs> but however, I had a bit of problems with the lag. Or buffer, should we say. I don't know why, but my router is not playing ball at the moment. It's been a bit of a nuisance. Mark Buster the game. I'm going to sleep. Take it easy. Have a great weekend. Appreciate that. Not easy to move. No. I have to admit, I'm quite proud of myself that even though... It's been tough. You know, I had to move from there to here. Lack of money. Being so worn out all the time. I still managed to achieve 
interview, passing interview, passing the maths tests. And I'm quite proud of myself. So yeah. Right, so that there, there, that's where you gamble. Um, have a great weekend, mate. Some bosses don't seem to understand workers' happiness increases work productivity. I definitely agree, Jamie. Feeling good about your job is important. Yeah. A really sad story about an old woman reminiscing uh, about her life at her 100th birthday. Wow. How old is your daughter? Um, right, so we have to pay to go to the next area. So, next question. How many games do you name? We have to... Oh. One question. No mind, we'll go that one as well. How many games do you name? We play as a dragon, any system you like. Does that have to be Amiga? I can do whatever you want. And also, the music's very good in this game. I really like it. So yes, you can go really, really fast. I mean, yes, that's not going to get a very high percentage of kills, but the speed of it is never going to help with your money. Now, you can also get additional weapons, but like I say, don't go too crazy because you've got to keep your money intact. No money, you ain't going anywhere. Game over, boys. Game over. So what I tend to do sometimes, do some speed runs, because my energy is poo at the moment in time. Hit the exit door. We need to increase our health by buying a hot potion. Little Puff and DJ Puff. I've played those. I played Little Puff. Wings of Death. Of course, you're answering that, aren't you? Yeah, I've got that on the Amiga. Little Puff. Uh, right, I'm going to buy some additional... Energy. Saint Dragon. I love that game. Fantastic. Can I get part of all four? I've tried many, many times. Bubble Bubble. Classic. Right, 700. Uh, Wings of Death, fantastic as well. I love that. I love the music to that as well. I want to end my contract. Why not? You're rubbish. <laughs> I wish I could say that. No, they've not been a bad company to work for. They got me out of a lot of bad situations. The money when I when I transferred the company I was working for at the time in Ipswich, I, I transferred from up there to down here, and the, the money dropped like a stone. Up there, I was doing five till six. Uh, one Saturday evening two, and you came on Sunday. I was earning a lot of overtime, so I had to. But when I made that swap, there was no overtime whatsoever. I was taking so much of the pay cut, and I just couldn't, I couldn't afford it. I couldn't live on that. So I thought, right, I'm going to have to go. I'm going to have to move on and do something else. I've got the job I'm going to now, which again was not an easy task. It's not a temp. Of course, you probably know I was a temp. I went to the weekends, which is good for the channel. That was a very good thing for the channel. Then I went for the full-time employment, got the full-time job, but again, was very proud of that. Been there for five years. Now it's time to move on. Now also, those bars at the bottom also is hit points, I think. How much damage magical attacks sustain, which is those. Something like that, anyway. It's a difficult one to expire, which is why we like to get a manual of a box. A box with a manual in this case. What happened there? I just died. Oh. What happened there? Auto burst, you technically play as it, you do? Level 2? Love it. Many, many people didn't like that game. I think it's fantastic. Um, do you like watching Jamie's live streams? Appreciate the long plays. Do you appreciate the vlogs? Then subscribe to the channel. Leave your like, chat with us, and leave a comment on the video. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Fan to Mega, straight back at you, my good friends. If you love your Mega music, love your streams. Check out me, Fan to Mega. Love his streams, love his music. Pan pipes, yeah. I don't know, kill. I don't know. Didn't technically die there, but didn't make it to the end either. Pandemon, do you really? So much that game I wasn't aware of. Yeah, I played the second one because I had a demo of that. And again, it's quite a long demo. Um, but quite a lot of the old demos were. But pretty much all demos I had, I find I like the game of course, they got played so much. I miss demo days, they are fantastic. Shame we don't really get those anymore. Mm. And I saw the other day, I went to WH Smith's, and I've seen Amiga Addict magazines in there. It's a shame there's no discs on them. I mean, that would be brilliant. That really would be. Oh, good old 
Don't get no dice. Yeah, I love it. Music's good, isn't it? It's really good. There's a lot to, there's a lot to it I don't understand. It's a nice idea. It's, just, it's different. And you have to keep pressing up, otherwise you'll fall to the ground. It's one of those four ones. But again, energy's low. Again, hit percentage was not good. Didn't shoot many enemies, but he made it to the end. Yoshi! I love Yoshi. He's my favourite character. So again, because I didn't shoot many enemies, we don't get a lot of gold. Um, so we've cleared those. Again, I'm going to increase energy. I don't know what the energy's like at the moment. However, that's a bit risky, actually. 810, will that get me to the next location? Looks like Dragon from all, but a little bit, yeah. Paul Grace said that, yeah. I do like that game. A lot of people didn't though on the Amiga, I think it's fantastic. Nice more pan pipes. Breath of Fire far 3, use your deadly breath on that light button. Take it easy, it will hail the king. Have a great weekend. Spyro the Dragon's in it, yes. Have a good weekend, my good friend. Uh, right, so we go to that one. This will take us on to the next location, which we've got to pay to go to. Have I got enough? 810. Where does that get me? Well, I can go there for 650. Uh, next question. How many games can you name where you have to pay to enter new levels? 650 there, or 650 there, 970 there. We'll go there. Yeah. Spyro Dragon, yes, someone did. I have got Spyro Dragon 1, 2, and 3, and the remake, which is also very good. Didn't like the ones after the third game. On the Xbox, wasn't overly impressed with that one. But yeah, I think it's mean. You, you can actually lose if you can't afford to go to the next level. So yeah, you can actually lose this game by not dying, or running out of time. You'd be skipped to death. But luckily, I think my health is now regenerated. I spent £150 on that. Crazy cards. Oh, do it! Oh, yes, you do! Yes, you do! Yes, you do! Lamborghini American Challenge, of course you do, yeah. Oh, forgot about those. Um, yes, the um, license. You need that. 50,000 is ridiculous. And that's a really tough challenge. Basically, it's a motorway. But on either side of the motorway, you've got lorries. And there's not a lot of room to move. And you've got a time limit. You've got to try and make it through, wrap blow up your car. And if you do it successfully, you get the license. And it opens up a new world. I do like that game though. Friends of Score was really good at that. Again, like you said earlier on today with uh, Agony, I preferred to watch on that one because I couldn't play that game. I'm rubbish at it. Hello, Border Dash. Hello to Australia. This is the Wasps. Featuring here as well. They're gigantic ones. Look at that. Yeah, I love Spyro. Yeah. Rock's Revenge on the C4. I've heard of that. Oh, Boss Battle. I forgot this game has Boss Battles. And this is timed as well. I don't like boss battles, but it's timed. Oh, what happened there? What happened there? Game over. What killed me? My energy wasn't... It might have been time. Maybe time got me. This is where manual will be very handy. Um, the coins are down payable on being allowed through the exit. Hello, Boulder. Do mobile games count? Of course they do. For buying upgrades and stages. I actually cannot remember any game to pay for next level. Uh, yeah, Blood Money, which Phoenix House mentioned. Yeah, that's that's the ultimate for me, because that's the one I'm desperately wanting to finish at the moment. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of ones at the top of my head. Um, Dragon Spike, I've heard of that. Also, there's so many games with Dragon in its title, which I very need to put a question on the stream of that, but I have, I'm sure I've asked that in the past. You've got Dragon Ninja, Dragon Fighter, um, uh, Dragon Scape, Dragon Spike, Dragon Breed, Saint Dragon, there's so many games. Well, of course, there's a lot more than that. 
Dragon Ninja. We need more Dizzy. I should do some Dizzy streams, yeah. Or Dizzy Long Plays. I should do. Alright, we that one. We've got one more game on the list, and it's a tough one once again. But again, the music is fantastic. This is Ninja Remix, which I did a long play on the CG4 a long time ago now. But again, it's difficult. It really is. But again, we'll see how we do. But it's called Ninja Remix, not the last Ninja Remix. And again, I would like to have a box if I see it. Dragon Slayer, how can I not forget, how can I forget that one? Yes, of course. Dragon Slayer 1, Dragon Slayer 2, Time Warp. Yes. Super Fog in the way, you need the coins. You do. Coins play a big part in that game. You really do. Um, some Zelda games require money to get further. See that one? I wouldn't know. Wouldn't know. I know Spirit's House is a big, big fan of Zelda. I've only played Zelda 2. And there's one on the DS. I can't remember its full title. But I played that. But no, it wasn't me. It wasn't for me. But number two was very good. I have to admit, Swedish House was, was educating me in the Zelda department. But that's also very good. I quite like it. Actually. Tough though. So is this. System 3% Ninja Remake. I've never streamed it before. Never done any footage on it apart from the CD4 long play quite some time ago. Live Between Worlds. I cannot remember, it was on the DS. It might well be, if it was on the DS, it could possibly have been that. Now, was this done by Ben Daglish? I didn't see that. No, it's not. Dokin Hibble. Full name, Dragon... Yes, it's confusing, isn't it? Yeah. Dragon Ninja vs. Bad Dudes. Yeah, that's correct. I've got a box version in there. I miss seeing my boxes in here. I miss them. Right, how far have people got on this one? This is brutal. Again, it's not the combat. It's not the... It's the not the controls of your character. It's the jumping, which is the biggest problem. It can save, but unfortunately, there's no save here. So I can press no. But again, the music is really good. Cannot go wrong. So, another question. There's three really quick fire questions. Um... What games did you find the control system very tough to master? And this is one. I got it in the end on the CG4, because of course I did the long play. But there are some difficult ones, which takes some adapting to. Take it easy, Swedish house. Have a great weekend, buddy. Great hearing from you, always is. Go and listen to Space Monkey. Right. I do like it. It's not as good as the C4 version. It never will be. But apparently, Last of the Two on Amiga, which I've never actually played actually, didn't do very well. It, it didn't look good. It might have sounded good, but it didn't do very well. But the first version I ever played was on the CD32, which is Last of the Three, where I got nowhere. I couldn't even get anywhere near close to anywhere in that game. The controls were just so bad. So it wasn't a good place to start. So it took me a long time until I actually got to play the first one. They were sort of off put by the third one. But once you master those very difficult jumps, which of course involves water or mud or swamp, then you should be okay. But yeah, just picking up an item is not an easy task. You've got to be in the right place and you press diagonal down up to pick up the saw in this case. Now what I tend to do sometimes is I tend to just run away from the enemies. I don't really tend to confront them very much. But in later games, I can pick this thing up. Pick it up, mate. Pick it up. Oh my lord. I've got auto fire on, that's why. There you go! We have a sword! Take auto fire off, Jamie, it's good to go. Hello, Hound Doggy! Verses 1 and 2 are tough in the beginning, but over the time you understand the bump mechanics. I didn't have a problem with Resident Evil, anyone else seems to. I didn't have an issue with the controls in, uh, on uh, Resident Evil, but what I didn't like was the doors. It takes a long time to go through a door. That's the only issue. So yes, you made a mistake, then you've got to go back again, you go through the door once again. And it's a nice thing, it is a good thing. But it just takes a long time to load. So you keep making mistakes. You've got to do a lot of time waiting for it to load. 
But anyway, the classic stones. I mean, yeah, these are brutal. You sink like a sinking ship. Yes. Two remaining lives. But again, like the season four, if you can master this, you should be okay. But it's no easy task, which is why it's up there. One of my, one of my answers. There's no real room for error here. Like that. My lord. No, I don't that. I played this on stage. First time. First time. No word of a lie. It's not here. But I do prefer Resident Evil 2. That's my favourite. Always has been that one. It's crazy. I've completed 1 and 2. I've completed 5. And that is it. I've not completed any more than that. It's a bit of an unusual one really, isn't it? I've still not even finished 3. Right, go again. Yeah, my sword, like the uh, first samurai, yeah. I mean, the combat's not too bad on this one. And of course, yes, you do move around a little more fast on this one. But yeah, just trying to get your character to go in one direction. Can we give an issue? But what are yours? Found the Houston quite tricky. Also, found Hala 3 is a bit strange as it is mouse after 1 and 2 were joystick. I think that was three, and it was, I think it was two. I had a demo the other day, it was for Howard Before the War, and that blew me away. That speed was amazing. It's not very action packed, though, is it? But, again, maybe box version in the future? I'll give it a whirl. Sometimes owning these boxes really makes you learn a few or two when you've got the awesome manual in your possession. They are difficult, yeah, but three was so difficult, I thought. I really struggled with that one. Right. I mean, that is not easy. Right, space bar is your weapon. Now, you do have energy bars, but on last into two, the enemies get back up. Now, will they do it here? I don't know. Okay. Use your stick and hit him where it hurts. What the neck? I don't think they get back up, unless you go off the screen and go back on it, they might do. Yeah, I had no idea there was that many of Valhalla's. I had no idea. And it confused me at first, because when I saw the first one, it was a female character. I'm not sure where those sort of characters, in terms of relations, I mean, are they like husband, wife, mum, son? I don't know. Best friends? Again, they're both very, very dumb, but yeah, it's, it's probably a very difficult game to, to adapt to, to learn, to master. Again, a lot of backtracking, I expect. Um, so this is where Stream Deck would be so good for me. To do this without having to keep looking for it. It's a click of a button, that's what I want to try and do. Take it easy, Lord Infinity. Have a great weekend. Again, thank you for continuing the support. You're amazing. Yeah, I was having a chat with Mr. War a few weeks back. We were talking about Resident Evil. And also, Rusty James, a big Resident Evil fan as well. Yeah, I used to have Cove Renner at X. I got really, really far as well. I really did. But then I didn't play it for so long, I got stuck. And trouble is, when I hadn't played it for so long, I forgot all about that game. I was just going round and round in circles. Of course, I think enemies respawn. I was getting nowhere, and eventually I traded it in. But I should have kept going, really. But again, as I said earlier today, sometimes, you know, you, you play these games, you get stuck, you give up for a little while, go back to it, and you do it first time, and sometimes you just cannot do it. But that, I just couldn't do it. I, I can't even remember what I had to do, I don't, I don't remember. But Mr. War also got stuck on one particular bit of Resident Evil, and again, he left it and went back to it and did it first time. It's amazing how that happens sometimes. Right, pray, my friend, pray. Put your numb truck away and get money from that. Uh, I've no problems with the inverted up and down directions. Yeah, once you get used to the, the angles, it's actually very good. I can't fault it. 
Again, great memories. More of number two than one. Um, but yeah, I've got, I've got most of them. Well, sort of. I've got one, two, three, four. Thank you, Rusty James. Five. Thank you, game. <laughs> six. I've got six, but I didn't get far now. I keep running out of bullets. Seven. I don't have the assistant to play it on. Get up, mate. Get up, mate. There you go. Um, but yeah, I think we got the remake at number two. I, I got nowhere. I, I just I, again didn't get the time to play it. <laughs> Too busy playing retro all the time. Hello, fake user. Hello, everybody. You dropped the question after all my typing on tough to master controls. Oh, I see. What is it, mate? What is? I'll put it up again, shall I? Anyone just tuned in? Have a bash at that. What games do you find control system very tough to master? Also, a game that I love though was Wiz. Again, it's this sort of perspective. It's an isometric perspective. Again, it was difficult to master. Once I mastered it, the game is brilliant. Again, it's not to everyone's tastes. But I do like that game. It's brilliant. But it took me a long time to adapt to that sort of perspective. I suppose in a way. Uh that one with a really long title. Attack of the, Attack of the Robots or something, which I have got a box version of. Again, not as difficult to control that one, but we've actually been actually bombarded by so many robots, and most of the time you are, it can be difficult to rule around. This again has killed me so many times. Um, but yeah, they are mean. I use that for the dragon at the end, if we get there. Where I do this first time. What is difficult though, it goes onto two screens. So what was yours, um, uh, Stephen? Look it up. <laughs> I'm looking. Oh, tough control to master. Tekken. Really? Dark Souls, Rocket League, Counter Strike, New Icaris, Uprising, Prince of Persia, Tomb Raider, Punch Out, Ninja Gaiden, Iku Ikaru Ikaruga. Good game. Ghosts and Goblins and Battletoads. Um, Tekken. I didn't really have any issues with Tekken. Um, I suppose the earlier ones. You know, your character doesn't react quite as quickly as you're performing the moves. The three, three is the ultimate. That's the best one for me. Uh, Dark Souls, I've never played it before. Rocket League is fantastic, but I haven't played it for about three years. But it can be difficult. All these cats that fly up in the air, they do these fancy dancing, swimming things in the air. I can't do all that. They're flying through the air, they do a somersault, get the ball into the net. It looks fantastic, of course, but I can't do all that. But yeah, it does take some getting used to. Absolutely so. Punch outs. I'm not good at punch outs. Um, um, Prince of Persia can have its moments. Yes, some areas. Some situations have got made some difficult jumps. Uh, kick, a kick, a kick, I can say it, mate. Um, there, was, there was another game which Swiss House would have known. I get this on the nerves, you have to go up a tower. But that is a difficult game, I can't think of its title. Right. See, that is just me, isn't it? Like, where do we go? Where do we jump to and from and how? One life remains. Yeah, Battletoads is brutal. Yeah, I had that. Well, I have got that on Rare Replay. Yeah, that's got some really brutal levels, isn't it? Rise of the Robots. I love Rise of the Robots. I love that game. I love it. I think I'm the only one that does. Right. Make a move. No! That's not the move I wanted to do. Oh yeah, I I've played that, Gumbio. Yeah, the control, they're special moves. I don't understand them. I even looked up the manual online. It doesn't really tell you any special moves in the manual. It has I do like the animations though. It's got some nice features, but the, 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 the special moves are too difficult to, to, to master. Right, one more go. I love Rise of Robots. I absolutely love it. I really do. And so many of you are thinking, Jamie, how can you like that game? In my defence, though, I watched Kaiser 6G play it a few weeks ago, and even he said it was good. Ha! 
There's two of us now. Yeah. Last go. I'll pass it over. We'll go to some quests. There's not much time to make some quests, but of course I'll make some quests anyway. Um, they met a kid at school who also had a competition for and told me how to do it. And I did it the minute I got home. Oh, really? Yeah, well, well, well Steam the go. Absolutely so. Mm. Yeah, there are some difficult ones there. But yeah, I didn't play Tekken 1 very much. Um, 2 I played loads, but 3... Loads, absolutely loads. Mortal Kombat, I love Mortal Kombat, but I wasn't a fan of the running in number three. And I'm not a fan of the, the combos. I think a game like Mortal Kombat, the earlier ones, doesn't really need the combos. But you I mean, of course, I did do a long play quite some time ago, which is a difficult long play, but I did it. But learn, mastering that running was no easy task. The yeah, computer's always going to keep running at you. It doesn't sound right, does it? A beating man, you've got to keep running at them. If you're more running in that game, you're doing a game of athletics. Right. Yahoo! First time! There we go! I'm punching him in the chip. Kicking him in the coin. Down he goes. Go for the sword, it's got a longer reach. I must do some different. Yeah, what I might do is I might do a future stream or future video or something to go some really brutal games. And games like, you know. Maybe stream Rare Replay one day, because of course Battletoads is on that. I don't have the right system to play it on, so. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, Second two is fantastic, yeah. It's amazing after all this time I still remember all the moves. It's like riding a bike. You never forget how to ride a bike. I played Tekken 2 quite a bit, but nowhere near as much as Tekken 3. Uh, yeah, amazing memories of that one. Did you know they had another... Another one, really? I didn't know that. Some guy named the Mexican Runner is one of the best speedrunners on battle... I think I know you mean, yes. The, the one with the cowboy hat. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I'm not a fan of speedrunning. I like to enjoy the game. But I can understand that these sort of... Streamers do get a lot of views. But yeah, I like to play the game and enjoy the game and not speedrun it. But I can understand why people want to do it and watch that. I suppose the only sort of, I mean, I could... I mean, I can, I can complete games like Shadow of the Beast quite quickly now. Not every time. You put your sword away. Oh, Arca, Arcus, gotcha, yeah. Who is it? I don't know which one you mean then. The Harvest, Phantasmagoria. I watched that. Not played it though. Spatterhouse was good, I did a long play of that. <laughs> um, Scaremongering. I remember almost there was a 10 hit combo. Yeah, I wasn't great at the combos. Um, it's like in Kid of Instinct. I love Kid of Instinct, but I wasn't very good at doing the ultra, 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 ultra combos. You killed them dead. I was, I was the a uh, of point of clicks. I get unfair criticism, but I think it's amazing and the acting is brilliant. Um, what are we talking about here? I missed something here. Uh, oh, you're talking about the um, yes, the Phantasmagoria. I can't pronounce that. Fan, Fantas, Phantasmagoria. Yeah, they can be a little bit cheesy. But it does look good though. I've not played many of them. But 
yeah, that's that fantasy. I can't say it. <laughs> I watched the long bit of that. Yeah, I quite enjoyed that. I mean, I wouldn't have had a clue. I wouldn't have went to start. The first one I played was on the Sega Saturn. I think it was through the eyes of the, of the through the eyes of a monster, which had Tim Curry. That was the first one I played. Again, I got nowhere. But Tim Curry is the baddie in that one. Spoiling for some people. Sounds guess I heard of it, never played it before. Yes, Robert, uh, 2 is one of my faves for the early days. Definitely should have had been playing it. Unfortunately, I have to do a few speed buttons to unlock the part of truth. Oh, yes. I understand that, Mr. Russell James. <coughs> yeah, of course you did one, didn't you? I saw it. Right, let's try and get through this difficult hazard. The only game I can speed run is Super Mario Brothers. Yes, I can, I can believe that. Yeah, that's quite a popular one, isn't it? Just hit that split button and off he goes. Hello, boy, Bro Boys 64. Better late than never. No worries at all. How are you doing? Welcome. I'm trying to get past this difficult hazard. I've had so many bites of the apple, I can't get over it. I just don't know where you got to jump from. I know we got to jump to. See, that landed on the lock. He fell through the lock. Still a very good game, Robert Gray. I love to watch people speed run, but not a fan of speed running. I know what you mean, man. I know what you mean. Right, anyone make any suggestions for the last 20, 30 minutes of the stream? Let me know. We'll go for a speed run. Wait, what's up here? I don't know. This, this takes you there as well, doesn't it? Um, yeah, welcome to the stream, bro. Bro, Bruce. Good to see you. Do you stream and show us? Uh, can you see, I was a beast at that game too. One and two on the arcades. Not played the second one on the arcade, only the first. But on the snares, it's one of my favourite games on the snares. I think this takes you directly to it. I'm trying to practice it. Yeah, here we go. On the CC4, I thought this was a little bit more easier. Is it there? Right, I got it. Oh my lord! Two remaining. Uh, what? Quick snap, I played that, that's good. Gotta love Dizzy, innya? Gotta love Dizzy. Sean P, it's easy to use the warp zone. Most people can do it in 10 to 15 minutes. It's not quick, but I'll try and do a video at some point. Do you know what I'm tempted to play? Yeah. I'll oh, quick go at Johan Sisters. That's another game I've been trying so hard to try and finish. Right, I'm up. Yeah, I'm going to do some Jana Sisters. Hang on, if I've got it, it should be on here. It's technically Mario, isn't it? About as close to the Mario as you're going to get. <coughs> right, I just saw you. Right, I'm up for this. Let's give this a try. Jump to the right. Hello to Frank. Hello. Good to see you. How you doing? Well, I'll, I'll try to I'll have, a, I'll have a bit of practice in my spare time. Jump to the right. Gotcha. No, I don't. No. Got to be rich to have that one. Right, let's give it a try.
Now I have got the remake, but unfortunately my CF card crashed and I had to format it. So I've lost all those games on that CF card. So in a moment of time, all that's on there at the moment of time is Space Taxi 3 and Flashback. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. There was some sort of corruption on there. To wipe the whole lot, start fresh. Right, why not? Let's give it a try. Has anyone completed Last Ninja Remix, by the way? No, only on the CG4. Even time in it. Again, I apologize about the shaped screen. I can't really get it in there without stretching it. I don't want to stretch it too much. Right, okay. Let me know if it's too loud, let me know if it's too quiet. Poo. But hopefully you haven't heard the fan this time, because that was quite a problem on the last stream, but I'm only using one fan today, not two. I thought the microphone wasn't going to be picking that up, because I didn't move background noise, but unfortunately, it was. Okay. Time in it. Let's go. No ways. I have completed the CG4 version. Did it once. And I've got to the second to last level on this one. But again, only once. I just can't get over that last hurdle. But there's a few levels in this game where there are so deadly jumps. Again, it's really testing the ability of the jump. If you've got the ability to be immune to fire, then yes, you'll be fine all cinders. You've got the pineapple, yes, you'll be fine all cinders. Once you die, yeah. It's like being thrown in the deep end if you can't swim. It's going to be tough. Yeah. Want to be swimming? Learn to swim, and you'll be alright. That's a brilliant game, I love it. Of course, we all know uh, the, um, the controversy to this one. Uh, why can't the owls fly? That's true, actually. They should be able to fly. I'm glad they don't. But of course, wasps are here. They are present. They can fly. And they're evil. You can go on the roof, but there's one level which I've got stuck on once before because I got stuck. I can get back down. And uh, the pineapple is fantastic, yeah. We have fine dream bubbles, but now they home in on nearby enemies. 100 crystals, you get just life. You have to under the ground and the underground. Bosses appear on the underground. But yeah, have the special abilities. You should be okay, good to go. We don't need time limits, no. This one, it can be a bit tight sometimes. If you want to go and collect all the items and go for additional lives, then yes, it's going to waste a lot of time. Yes, you've got a bit of a floaty jump, but yes. Evil wasps. <laughs> Whatever game they are on, they are there. They are evil. And as you play as one, occasional game you do play as a wasp or bumblebee. But they always mean they always are. Now back in the other days, that killed me so many times. I just couldn't get past that big bouncy dodgeball. Did this game get taken to court? Well, there was the issue, of course, with Nintendo. Um, it probably did go to court, I expect. Yeah, but also I was playing an episode on today. That was called Catechist, and of course there was an infringement with IREM. With, of course, R type, and that's changed its name. It was a sort of Greek origin sort of thing, and they changed it. And it turned out Denarius is also a name which they couldn't use anyway, but that one stayed in place for some reason. Yeah, it's taken off the shelves, yeah. Which is why it's such an expensive one to own. It's not the greatest artwork. There are much, much better ones out there. But yeah, if you own this, then that is an amazing one to have in your collection. Um, 
But it's not even a big box. It, I'm assuming it's a small plastic case. Which I'm not a fan of the plastic cases, because they're quite fragile, of course. I like the big boxes, I have to admit. But yeah, I would love to own it, but it's, I don't know if it's ever going to happen. I don't know. It's a little bit, yeah, a little bit. I don't even know how many were actually released, or how many were, well, survived, should we say. I'm guessing it happened quite early on in its life. Denaris turned to Catechus to prevent going to court. The devs had to develop R-Type for the media. There you go, exactly. I'm glad they did. Oh, yes, indeed, I'm glad they did. Oh, I love it. I love it! So, Stephen Scapegoat, what is your all-time favourite Amiga game? Have you got one? Well, question to everybody when I'm a bash at that. What is your favourite of all time Amiga game? If that is answerable. I know it's probably difficult for some people. Of course, you know what mine is. It's our site. No hesitation. What is yours? Have you got one? Or well, top three, since it's up to you. I love that sound effect. That's brilliant. I know what Edge of the Blinds is. It's Tolkien. It's gotta be. Gotta be. Mr. Bobby. Yeah, it has to be, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> of course it is. Tolkien 2, yeah? Good shout. Uh, how you get... How do you know it's safe? You see, there's a little blue line. Uh, I'll show you in a minute. Trouble is, if you're going to do that, it's going to waste time. There's been a time. There is a clock. I'll show you. However, it's quite difficult. To, yeah, you can see down there. Uh, you can see the blue line. Or blue dots. So that down there is a secret. Which on the remake, remaster, remix, yeah, it's a bit more easier to see. But the, yeah, it's, it's, it's missable. If it's not there, it's a bottomless pit. Avoid it all costs. <laughs> Says World of Soccer, I love Says World of Soccer, I do. Ah! But yeah, the, it all started with the CV32, which I've got. Paid £4.99 from Computer Plus in Mason and Kent, I remember it very well. It took me a long time to finally play a sensible word of soccer. Or sensible soccer, which it was in the case. I have been tempted to do a football stream. I know some people probably wouldn't approve of that. But I do like playing football games, I really do. Maybe on Twitch. <laughs> My evil wasps. Hello, Christian Durkin! You can't park here. How you doing? Are you on the town eating kebabs? Have a good time? <laughs> Welcome, my good friends. You are to be a king, Jamie. Thank you very much. Uh, there's so many favourites are Snow Bros, Tiniest, Nightmare, depending on which one you're referring to there. Which one you're referring to. Depending on if it's a new game or loud, make any system version you like. Any one you like. You like golf games? I don't mind a bit of golf. I'm not great at them though. But I did like... <laughs> Poo! Did like Tiger Woods. Got it right first time there. Played loads of Tiger Woods games. Uh, I had world-class leaderboards, which I still do have, on the CD4, and Amiga, not a box version of Amiga though. Uh, um, I can't believe I did that. Um, uh, PGA Tour, I had. Again, I wasn't great at it. Um, 
I'm like a pros didn't play that one. Um, sensible golf. I was terrible at that. Terrible. Got nowhere in that one. I can't believe I did that. What a stupid error. Lost trouble is every silly mistake. You lose so much power ups. <laughs> Another game, number one of the favourites was Weird Dreams. I say I like that. I know Sweetest House doesn't, but it's a very, very tough game. Not a long game though. Um, but so many situations, which is very easy to mess up. And yes, it's random. You know, that girl with a dagger in her hand is difficult to get past. You've got to try and get that football. You'll be stabbed to death. Um, but yeah, you got to do it without getting eaten alive as well. And trying to get that bowling ball from the wasp. It's just... I've been done it about twice. It's all about timing. Right, there's one. You hate that game. What one's that? <coughs> oh, Weird Dreams. <laughs> Sweetest House, you're probably watching this bad. It'll agree with you, I think, on that one. King Arthur loves it. I do too. Andreas and Ryan, I think he's got a box version as well. A little bit of a phase. Quite a few of us bought it quite quickly. We're quite close together. Weird Dreams, you don't like it, no? How far did you get? Did you get past the first screen? The evil candy floss machine. I mean, even that is brutal. Oh, so, oh, um, yes. Why well, you not a fan of football? Why are you? My idea of torture would be watching someone die again and again on that game. Yes, it's going to happen a lot. Yes, you, if you're going to play that game, you are going to die quite a lot of times. No denying that. As you're going to see that heartbeat quite a lot. And most times it's going to be doing that. Because you're dead. Killed by roses. Killed by lawnmower. Killed by candy floss machine. Eaten alive. Right, so I'm doing this the hard way. No surprise. Mordus Games is very well known for doing that. But we need a pineapple. We need to be immune to flames. Because my least favourite bit is not too far away. And if you're immune to flames, that's going to make it a bit more easier for me. Psycho Knife Girl, yeah. Bought it after one of... Yeah, yeah, I remember her. It was you, me, and Mr. King Arthur. We pretty much bought it within the same few weeks. In fact, I think King Arthur was after the one that I was bidding on, actually. I remember rightly. There was one time I think we were actually bidding against each other without actually realising it. Yeah, I feel a bit bad. Also, there was another one. I think... Um, yeah, I bought uh, Video Kid quite some time ago, and I think someone else was actually after that one. They didn't actually realise that I'd won it. That would be bad. Yeah, evil girl. Ha! Ah! They don't hoe me in, Jamie. You're pineapple to do that. 48 seconds. Yeah, I was so pleased you got your token. That, that's amazing. You've got the full collection now. Yeah, it had two versions in it. It was payment day, wasn't it? I'm very, very happy for you. It's, it's, it's the same story with me, my R-Type 2. It took me 30 years to finally get myself R-Type 2 on the Mega. In the other days, I never saw it. I looked high. I looked low. I never saw it. It was almost like it didn't exist. I was just thinking, am I ever going to get to play this? Am I ever going to have this on my shelf? I kept thinking it's never going to happen. And all of a sudden, finally, I got it. That was a good thing. It wasn't cheap. It was never going to be cheap. Yes. Right. Yes, the 
chicken thing. Yes. Yeah, you got. <laughs> you got swing on the light fixing, haven't you? And not actually, we get past that bit. There's not actually much more to do. But you got off get those three bowling balls. And you need the football to make the path. Yeah, in the desert, I think it is. Something like that. Dizzy Prince of the Spatula, make that game, please. Viz, I love Viz. I've got a box version of that. I won't show you because, of course, the box is green, eliminated by the green screen behind me. But again, a tough, tough game. Got to level three only a few times. <laughs> Sensible spatula. The, yes, the guy with the big... Yes, yes, I know what you mean. Bust the gonads, yes. He's got a lot in his hands. <laughs> yes. My favourite character in that is Biffa Bacon. Right. I don't have the ability to be immune to fire yet. Thank you, Jamie. I'm really happy with the Tycoon. Mate, I'm really happy for you. You're one of the biggest Tycoon fans I know. Mark Gordon, he loves his Tycoons as well. In fact, you can't really go wrong with Tycoon. It's, there's not many people I know that don't like Tycoon. Her name is Spider, who's not here. He's currently doing that at the gig right now. Um, yeah, he doesn't like Tarkin. Well, he doesn't like the music of Tarkin. That's something like that. But yeah, first time I saw Tarkin 2, I mean, I was blown away. I, I said it many, many times in the past. Went to town a week later. I bought Tarkin 1 as well. And now it's one of the most expensive trilogies I've got in my collection. In fact, it is the most expensive trilogy in my collection. Would I change it? Absolutely not. Definitely not. So, Rusty James, have you bought anything recently? More Spectrum games? I can understand why people don't like Titan 3. I can understand that. Because, yeah, it's technically, you know, it's, it's the Mega Drive, isn't it? Port for the Mega Drive. Which is why you got the plasma rope, not the lightning. But yes, it takes some getting used to. Once you've mastered that plasma rope, or plasma whip, no, it's rope, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. It's not as good looking as the first and second. The music is sensational. But it's definitely easier than three, I thought. It took me quite some time to get that first location on one and two. But yeah, three I could finish quite quickly. Yeah, I've got a friend's house, yeah? Yeah, one and two, yeah. Um, I don't know Tarkin that well. I only played it on Mega Drive at friend's house. I'm going to try and be good, so have some spending money at the expo. I'm trying to be good. I bought a few recently. Not stupidly priced, but I bought a few. I have bought a game which everyone is going to absolutely hate. Uh, but again, it's, it's the memories of it. I used to own it, but unfortunately it got stolen the other days. But I bought it the other day. Um, back in the Woo! Oh, man. Back in the day, I did not like Tycoon... Oh, really? That's interesting. I got the, have I got the water drip yet? Yeah, I bought um, Alien Storm, which is going to be hated by many of you. But again, like I say, I had it in other days, and I liked it. I did actually like it. It's not, it's not great. It's not fantastic. But again, it was, you know, I had it. It got stolen. I got quite far in it as well. But yeah, it, it's it's not known to be a good game. But again, it's just, you know, memories of it. It's what I like. Alien Storm. Which was US Gold, and it didn't score overly highly. 
But the Amiga version is the only version I've played. And again, I bought it from Kent Micro and Mateson and Kent back in the day. JB, the time's running out. Time, man. Time. It's weak. It's weak. But I like it. <laughs> I do like it. One thing you notice with me, I do like a lot of games that many people don't like. And I'm not ashamed of it. I love it. You know, it, I'm easy to please. I really am. If, for example, if I played it now for the first time, I probably wouldn't like it. But because I played it back then, and I was, I was quite young back then, you know, then that's the reason, you know. It would have been a different story if I played it at the age of 39. Yeah, I probably would have said, no, it's like me. It's like for me. <laughs> right, uh, yeah. I can't even remember the first game I didn't like. I can't remember one. In fact, I, li I disliked more games on the PlayStation 1 and 2 than I did on the CD4 and Amiga. It was very, very rare I played an Amiga game and I'm like, no, nah, don't like this. No. Not my thing. Not my cup of tea. I don't think I ever said that. But yes, there was many PlayStation 1 games I was like, no, I don't like this. No. Trade it in. <laughs> I was older then, I suppose. I was older. Woohoo! Yes! <laughs> Walk to level 20. Yeah, it's very difficult to avoid that one. But there we go. Yes, yeah, it's, it's an arcade port. Yes. A very short range weapon. One has a whip, one has a lightning bolt thing. Hello to Kite G. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Um, yeah, I, I don't know what, what rating it got. It didn't get overly highly. Ah! Right. This is a horrible level, this one. Right, but we are. Still able to fire. I mean, me and Smith's house have had a conversation about this game quite a few times, but I don't know what is the most handiest weapon in this game. If you were to pick, pick either the pineapple or the power that makes you immune to fire, if you could pick one of those, what would you go for? Both of them are extremely handy, and both weapons you don't want to lose. But I suppose there are some very difficult jumps, and if you are immune to fire, that's definitely going to make it a bit more easier for you. The bullets, you can sort of work around those, you can jump on enemies' heads. Hope you are well, Kite G, Belgium. My lord, it must be ten past one for you. And yes, the Mars system, it's, oh, it's decent, is it? That's interesting, because I, I still have not found a bad Mars system game. I have got an idea for a series, which I keep meaning to do. Uh, but I still have not found a Mars system game I don't like. They're all very, very good. And of course, there are not many that I've tried. I've probably played about 30, I expect, in my lifetime. But I've, I've liked every single one I've played. So I cannot fault the Mars system. There's going to be some I don't like. I can't like every single game. But I think it's a really, really good system. I think I am immune to fire. I cannot remember if I picked it up, but I think I'm okay. In fact, yes, it's confirmed. But I'm still gonna try and avoid it like I don't have it. So again, for additional practice. But this is a level you don't want to lose that ability. Yeah. <coughs> I mean, I've only played... I might do a memories video in the future on the Spectrum. If I can remember what ones I played back in the days. But yeah, at the moment of time, it's a bit of a blur. I can remember a few, but not enough to make a top ten. Um, but yes, of course, I have played R-Type now. Um, but yeah, you know, your... Jetpack. Your... Uh, hunchback. Played all those on the spectrum. 
um, that one that followed um, jet Jetpack, Luna something, even a buggy or something. Um, take it easy, man cave hobbies. Get well soon, my good friends. Um, yeah, it's a bit late, isn't it? Um, I mentioned Hunchback, didn't I? Pajama Rama, played that. Head over heels. I've got it on the CD4. I'm not great at there either, but I have played that. Jack and the Beanstalk, played that. Jet Set Willy, yes. But played it on the CD4 a lot more. Um, ah! I can't think of any more, but I'm sure there is more. You need to refresh your brain box upstairs. Luna, that's the one. That's the one. Yeah. That's tough. That is tough. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's such a shame we got to wait so long. But like we said earlier on today, Mr. James, it won't be good. Um, but yeah, it's going to bring back a lot of memories. And I think, oh yes, I remember that. Yes, I remember that one. And that's what I want. I've not played Chucky Egg on the Spectrum. <laughs> Mr. Spud. Here <laughs> we go. I wouldn't understand what I mean if I didn't know Manara, I was the one with the frog. That's got great artwork. Yeah, I don't quite understand how to play the game though. Right. This, again, is a, is a toughie. I don't like the jumps in this one. Right. Again, apologies about my noises. I'm not in any pain, I promise you. I'm loving this game. <sighs> but I do get quite into these games. Yeah, I mean, Mr. Spider's mentioned Chucky Head so many times, but yeah. I, th well, I think I'm okay here. Look at that! I did it perfectly that time. The amount of times I can kill by that. And I've got the ability to avoid it. I did it perfectly. Um, but yeah, I've not played many. Monty Mole. Yeah, the first time I played Monty on the Run was on the Amstrad. And there was only one friend I had in the other days that had the Amstrad. And I was blown away by that game. That was really... Ah! Good game. Good game, good game. All there. Um, right. Jamie, pay attention. Hold a minute. Do I jump from there? I don't think you can jump that high. No! I don't even jump from down there, up there. That's too far, that's too high, surely. Right. Gods, I love gods. Harley Quinn, I love Harley Quinn, but I can't get far. I don't know what I'm, what I'm doing in that game. Um, I've got to get some serious practice in that game. <laughs> oh, here we go. Um, I'm going to have to run like, for Christie, I think, on this one. That jump, it's evil. Again, a half a second more. Half a second. No, too much. Too much. Five lives. No! She needs an extra inch on her foot. She needs bigger shoes. No! Come on! Why can't you swim, Jana? This is my voice. <coughs> <coughs> no! Right, hang on a minute. <sighs> Morgan Zone, Jamie. Morgan Zone. Right. It's so much work to get here, too. I don't think you can jump from there to up there. It's too far. It's too far. Yes! Right! Don't mess it up, Jamie. But that is brutal. I mean, what are they th thinking? Ugh. Yes! 
Get out of there. Time is to get away. Right. What is it? Spider? I hope so. Yes. A different colour one this time. Woohoo! Get out of there! That is horrible! A horrible level. Killed me like six times. They are frustrating, mate. So when you get through his fire, you lose all your skills. But in saying that, skills can't really help you with that one. Thank you, Dry Lynn. That's really kind of you. Mate, I'm enjoying it. I love it. I love it. I mean, I could sit down and play modern games all day long. And I would never enjoy it as much as playing this. It's the old school game. It's so much more enjoyment. There's so much more... I just want to keep going back to this all the time. You know, I finish a modern game. Yes, it's good. The graphics are good. The sound is good. But I finish it once, and that's, it. that's enough for me. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dryland. Hope you're well, by the way. Good to see you. 26. <clears throat> oh, shame Swedish House is not here. I'm sure we'll watch it back. In his pajamas. <laughs> right. I have to admit, this one is a bit of a blur. Oh, come to Papa. There we go. Thank you so much. That's really kind of you. An awesome dude. Again, a. Long time to subscribe to the channel. <coughs> I'm losing my voice, I really am. I've spoken so much today. Right, we cannot. Look at that. Look at that, Jamie. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes, I've lost a lot of lives. We are nearly there, though. I can't... I can't fire. Again, look at this. <coughs> now we can! Oh, yes! Dream Bubbles, baby! No, we're not firing Dream Bubbles, baby. Jamie. Right. Okay, we can't now. Does that look worse than it is? Right. Where's the culprit? You killed me. Who was it? Was it you? It was you, wasn't it? Ha! <gasps> Fight. Do they have to put so many wasps in one area, please? I cannot fire. Oh my god. Right. That's a big jump! That's a big jump! Oh my god! <laughs> uh, see fireworks! Take care, Jamie, and chat! Take it easy, my good friends! Thanks for tuning in, thank you for subscribing! Oh my god, have a great weekend! I'm sure I'll hear from you over the course of the weekend, I'm sure. Holy hell! Right. I don't know what to expect. Oh my... <laughs> I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to. <laughs> I don't like these horrible jumps. <clears throat> this game's got a lot of them. fire. Oh yes, okay. Can't fire much, but it's better than nothing. It's better than going underneath it. <laughs> You're yelling at the screen. Sorry, buddy. 
My hands are shaking. They are. I'm not gonna lie. Look at this dude. Is it 29 levels or 30 levels? It's 30, isn't it? Sure it is. Oh, look at that. Not liking that. <sighs> See, is it? Oh my goodness me! <sighs> you don't know if it's a two space jump or one space jump. Sometimes it's really a gamble. Pineapple, come to Papa. Yes, this could be in the bag. Come on, Jamie, we can do this. Oh! I can fire through balls! Yes. Oh my lord, look at this. All right. Oh. Yes! 29! Level 30! Holy moly! Gee. Is this last level? I think it is. It's all a dream. No, don't box yourself in, Jamie. I'm not gambling in there. I am not gonna gamble that lot. Thank you very much. <sighs> oh no, lights just flicker. Don't go a power cut, please. Photo jump comes in handy. 31. Is it 32? It's 32, isn't it? Oh my lord! Get out of there, Jamie! My lord! Get your pair of pants off this one! My goodness me! Oh, you can't kill that one! You can't kill that one! You can't kill that one! 31... No! Right, okay. Okay, okay, okay. What a silly place to put a respawn. Where's the culprit? Two. This is the last level. Is it a spider or is it a dragon? I want to think it's definite. It's nerve wracking. Oh no! Right, okay. I remember this. I've got here once before. That. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Do I jump through there? Jamie, time's ticking away. I don't know. No, I don't believe it. Ah, oh, unbelievable. That's where you need to be out of. No, you can't kill them, can you? Can't kill those. Well, I'm delighted with that. Not a completion, but that was the final level. Ah! I messed that up. Oh, don't believe it. Oh dear. Jump as the second one is at the top. Damn it. Right. I'll have to work on that. No worries, buddy. No worries at all. No worries at all. Well, that was brilliant. I'm happy with that. That was fantastic. Brilliant! That was fantastic. What an attempt that was. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you for all the likes, subscriptions. 
the links, the comments, the questions, support. Love it. <laughs> Love it. But yes, uh, as Gondolo, no sorry, King Arthur said earlier today, there will be a change to the stream soon when I adapt to the new change on the job. Um, but there will be an announcement video for that anyway. But anyway, you're going to get two streams back to back when I adapt to the new change. But yeah, thank you very much. So close. Unbelievable. Anyway, I'll see you next time, guys. Thank you so much for the support. You're amazing. But yeah, my, I, need to have some, I, need, I just need some sugar after that one. Take it easy, guys. Ah, uh, cue the outro. I'll see you next time. Again, thank you for the donation. That's really kind of you. Um, just refresh. Come on, play ball. No, he's not playing ball. Why are you not playing ball? Again, thank you very much to Dry Lint, Carson Dormant. Thank you very much for your donations. Thank you to Panatoni84 for the subscription. Mitch Fensel, thank you for the follow. Stephen Sake Goat, thank you for the subscription. And Scruffy Puppy, thank you for the subscription. And Nat Brown, Laura Melling, thank you very much. Appreciate it. It really does help me out. I'll see you next time, guys. Take it easy. Cute outro. Where is it? Yeah. <laughs> Have a great week, end. Whatever you're doing. Take it easy. Ciao, bye. See you.